Hey everyone, happy Saturday to you. How are we doing? I did, in fact, learn to love Gollum yesterday. I had to get a little Gollum out of my system, no doubt. It helps that we're taking a break, but we'll be finishing Gollum on Monday. We're going right back. Zach Woshnar, I actually... Okay, so we're about to play Logan's Shadow today. It's a PSP game, which means that you use buttons to aim instead of an analog stick. I had a good time with it. I actually didn't mind it in the end. We were we were getting our headshots. We, we With Dark Mirror, the other PSP siphon filter game, I struggled much less with that than any of the uh, PlayStation 1 siphon filters. I don't feel like we had that moment where it's like, I cannot do this. I've been wanting you to read the game's tagline with Gabe Logan's voice since I saw it. How do you hunt in the shadows when the shadows are hunting you? <laughs> That's your Gabe voice? Is that supposed to be Australian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh I don't mind I don't mind pressing buttons to aim. I think uh the my my big piece of advice for anybody playing these PSP siphon filter games is don't lock on. Uh the game seems to compensate for that, and like if you get your headshots, the game's cool with it. If you lock on, it's going to make you like take 10 or 15 shots per person in their chest. But one headshot is one headshot. Do I think he requested the peck pads? Oh, he does have peck pads. Uh, So here's the thing. Here's what we learned. You can use the right analog stick in this one. I guess we'll give it a try. Gabe Logan is a father. If you missed the last game... The thing you did not learn is that Gabe Logan is a father and has been this entire time. Since 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 Siphon Filter 1, he's secretly been a father, but the mother of his child didn't want to tell Gabe because he's a bad man. <laughs> He's just, he's not gonna, she knows. She's like, look, I don't want this man in my life. And that's, you know, that's her, right? She just, she just left. <laughs> Cause he kills people for a living and he enjoys it. And he's very much into it. 
No, seventh place. We'll be playing more Gollum on Monday. I like Gollum too much, but once once I'm back from my trip to LA, which will be the Monday after this Monday, then we'll get back to the legacy docket. We'll uh we'll get into uh Starts with an R. An RPG on the PS2. It's not Radiant Historia, but it's something that sounds like that. Why am, why am I confusing these titles? Radiata Stories. God. There's an RPG series called Radiant Historia, and there's another one called Radiata Stories. They can't do that to me. My mind isn't equipped for that kind of thing. Can I get an no-no? There's a big tornado warning in my town right now. Yeah, it's a no-no. Stay safe. Steer clear of windows. Xeno Radiata is a good title for a series, though. I'd, I'd be into that. Isn't it a spiritual successor? Oh, is it? Chad, are they tied? Spiritually? What? <laughs> That fucking cat. He's got like, oh, he's got a way of like galloping when he wants to be a goof. It, it looks like this, you know, it looks like. <laughs> he's being a goof out there. I think cause it's bathroom time. I think he's, I think he really just has to go to the bathroom. Kyle. Are you going to think about the next choice in Fantasy League? You made some panic drafts. I didn't make a single panic draft. Um, I do think, uh, really quick chat, I am right now about to increase my bid. I'm getting nervous about that I, my bid isn't high enough to win uh, uh, Talos Principle 2. Yeah, I gotta beat Isla. You know what I mean? I got 60 bucks left. I only have two more slots to pick up. So I think there will be one Nintendo game that I can go hard on. And uh, I think there will be... Oops, that's Degenerate League. A bunch of uh, counter picks I have to pick up. But yeah, I only have two more picks. Planet of Lana was not a panic pick. I think that was a smart pickup. I definitely spent too much money on it, but I don't I don't regret picking up Lana. Come on now. I spent way too much money on it. I think I think I spent like eleven or sixteen on that. Can I get an Oya for the rugby team I support winning the league today? Won six away games in a row to make it happen. First title in eleven years. We have never, I think, once done an Oya for rugby. Oh yeah. And no, I'm not going to record Mucho's Goofy Gallop. All right, so let's see how much money Isla has left. Does it say? Normally it says. Yep, there it is. All right, she's got 80 bucks. So she actually has more money than I do, but she has a lot more pickups left than I do. She's got four, whereas I have two. Let's say she's going to put 20 on each. Do I go 21 to make sure Isla does not get... Uh, yeah, let's do 21. Tell us principle two. And then honestly, if she bids 22, she bid too much for tell us principle two. You're right. If I'm in for 21, I'm in for 22, but I'm cutting it off there, chat. I got Sons of the Forest, but it only has three reviews. How long ago did that come out? If it's been a month, I think you might be hosed and you might be getting a big fat egg. Lego 2K hurts. Redfall destroyed my team. Lego 2K, you can shrug it off. Like, oh, that sucks. I really, I really guessed that one wrong. Um, got a 73, which is, you get three points for that. Redfall currently sitting at 58, which is 11 points deducted from your team. 
basically two consider that consider that two empty slots you know what i mean having a zero would have been better but then on top of that it did worse so it's just like that's rough and cartwright thanks for being a 16 mother sons of the forest was february 23rd yeah you're done that's a zero <laughs> that's a zero i don't think it'll get more reviews Lower than wanted dead. Wow. Yeah, I've chat I've been thinking about it all night long because of um Gollum. You know, I love using the full range of the review score. I fucking love it. I love giving games twos and threes when they deserve them. But like I don't see what makes Gollum so much worse than bad games I've played, you know? Redfall, I think, really was just uh, disappointing is why its scores are so low. It's wild. The $60 price. Oh, I mean, Gollum is $60. S Redfall is 70 if you don't have Game Pass, you're, you're ponying up 70 clams to play Redfall. So I guess that's a good point. That's a fair point. It's worth bringing up. It was worth... It was supposed to be a centerpiece and gets punished for that. Yeah. I think that's a... I think that's a key point, too. If Redfall was if Redfall was the shadow drop, it would have had better scores. Maybe you should try Redfall more. You might love it. I mean, based off the games I do love, maybe it is just like a vampire murder game, you know? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! What's with these paws? Yeah, they, those don't go there. And you know better. Uh, let me, uh, fill my mug with hot water to produce tea. Uh, but then, uh, we can kick off Siphon Filter, Logan's Shadow. Run forward, thanks for being a 34 month there. I was surprised to learn that you watched all the Lord of the Rings movies, given your distaste for the high fantasy genre. What convinced you? Uh, those were event movies. You know what I mean? I watched every single harry potter movie too you know what i mean like so yeah I, I feel like uh there's there was a time maybe there's still a time where like there's just movies you like if you are a young person you just go see them you know um i did not watch every hobbit movie for instance in fact i think i only watched the third hobbit movie <laughs> So yeah, like it definitely, it definitely wore off. Siphon filter tier events, yeah. The third Hobbit movie starts with them just killing the dragon, Smaug. They just make a big spear arrow, shoot Smaug, and he's like, ah, oh, shit. I haven't seen a single apes movie, but that's more just like, you know, my feelings towards apes than anything. All right, let me grab that tea. You're a sassy one, brother. Scratch that, I've seen Giamatti apes.
I've seen Giamatti as an ape, so I have seen one of those movies. Now that's not the circus era. How are you going to say that doesn't count? Come on now. I've not seen all the Fast movies. What I think is important to note, that, though, is that the Fast movies became events. If you're asking 21-year-old me, like, hey, you're going to see Too Fast, Too Furious? Like, no. Those are movies for stupid people, I would say. And then uh, they became events. Probably, probably around when... Uh, Fast Five, Fast Six is around. I think that's when I started watching Fast and Furious movies. How many pre-80s movies have I watched? Probably 12. Probably a good round 12. If it's not an event, I don't care to see it. The Mission Impossible movies, I saw like, I saw this one, but uh, no, I don't think I, I'm not like caught up on Mission Impossible, you know? I've never seen the one with uh, That J.J. Abrams directed? I've never seen that one. What is my favorite movie series? Star Wars. Star Wars. I chat I tried. I was like obviously I tried not to say that. Man Gita Rashi, thanks for being a 35 monther. Spider-Man will remember that. Hard to call it a series. If I can say the MCU, I then that's my favorite movie series. Yeah. Look at those weird pipes. Chat, did you see those that good two solid seconds of pipes? What was that about? I have seen Guardians 3. Somehow MCU is still on top of my favorites. Did I cry? Hell no. Never cried at a Pratt movie, not in my life. Gosh, I feel like, uh, I feel like Infinity War had me. I feel like I was deeply emotionally invested in Infinity War. I'm not sure I felt the same for a Marvel movie since. Infinity War, when everybody just t turns to dust. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is happening? What's happening now? And then, uh. Since then, I don't know. I don't know if anything has touched me. Wait, what is Siphon Filter Combat Ops? Sneak preview. You can't select it. So they like they took it out. They took out multiplayer too. You can't even highlight it. Wakanda Forever is definitely an emotional movie. I'll give it that. I think it... Uh, I think it gets in its own way a bunch of times. Subtitles on, baby. This one's wild. 
Oh, because you're holding down triangle to manually aim. Got it, 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 got it. Press square to swim forward. <laughs> no, I like this. What is the swim forward button, though? All right, I think we're good. Combat Ops was a multiplayer game. Servers went down in 2012. Uh, Non-canon? Most $10 standalone multiplayer only game on PSP? Grapple, thanks for being a 15 monther. That's so crazy. This game already has multiplayer, and it was a $10 game? I guess they were just trying shit out at the time. Do you want to know what is so weird to me? For some reason, there is a little registered R symbol in the Siphon Filter Combat Ops logo that was clearly not there in the PSP version of this game. Oh, we got the same character model from... uh. The last game. Story mode, let's do it. What's my favorite movie with a dog actor? Beethoven. Oh, chat's on the same page. Hell yeah. We don't have time to go over all the details, Logan. We need you on site now. Transport standing by. Let me get this straight. A fully manned U.S. naval supply ship is boarded by Somali pirates from these. know <laughs> That's why I'm sending you. Because the Somalis. Why the pause, Gabe? Why the pause? Let me get this straight. A fully manned U.S. naval supply ship is boarded by Somali pirates from these. <laughs> know That's why I'm sending you. Because the Somalis want the contents of Hold 5. I never said they were after Hold 5. I said I need you to secure it. The damn Somalis can't possibly This guy is still our boss. Else. Not even the goddamn Navy knows about What's it. What's inside? Classified. Clearance levels through the roof. Need to know, Logan. Hell, not even the Fifth Fleet Admiral knows. But I can tell you this. You don't want the Somalis to get it. Listen to me, Cordell. We're not <laughs> under your jurisdiction. You can't order us to just go in there and get our heads blown We're not off. just dealing with Somalis here. We need you because you're the only because one. Because you can't expect special ops to keep your secrets. We know the drill. Let me finish. The Somalis are not acting alone. They're being led by a Syrian. You remember him? Bitar. What are you doing, Cordell? Hassan Albatar was our case, remember? Yes. You know who he is. You know what he is. Did I miss something? Or is, it, is this like implied history? Yeah, do we know Bitar or is that like just, that's just implied? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Bitar's not my problem anymore. <laughs> you had our team pulled last year. Why do you want to snap? Not my problem. I'm level with you, Logan. You're the only option I've got. All right. I'll do it. But I no. use... No, Gabe, what are you doing? This is but incredible. But I use my people. <laughs> goes through here. Teresa's in charge of all operations. Now listen, Logan. You don't have authority Have transport here in one hour. Logan out. 
What are you doing? You know what I'm doing. He's not telling you everything. And you never accept outside assignments. I don't expect him to. He's a politician. Then why? We let Cordell interfere in the first place. I've got a score to settle with Batar. Tell Haddad to get her gear. She's got half an hour. And get hold of Leon. Tell her to cut her vacation short. <laughs> I'm gonna need her. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Everybody's like, Gabe, there's no reason to do this. We have no reason to pick up this mission. You realize that, right? I got a personal vendetta against Pitar. Call up Leon. Her vacation is over. Chief, I'm picking up something. A distress signal. From the ship? No. Special Ops, code blue. Sounds like they're in trouble. What the hell is Special Ops doing here? Teresa. Surprise, surprise. What else did Cordell conveniently forget to mention? Just get on the horn. Already on it. Sage commentaries free of charge. Chief, they're in real trouble. They're not alone. Good dodge. Damn it. <laughs> Holy shit. This is where the story begins. Somali pirates led by the Syrian terrorist Kassan al-Bitar have attacked the USS Mount St. Helens, a Navy am ammunition supply ship Bitar doesn't take prisoners. The ship's sig mayday signal has been broadcasting for four hours. The St. Helens was transporting classified cargo in hold number five. The man in charge of the mission, Robert Cordell, says the content of the cargo is need to know. Cordell is a pencil neck, a DC bean counter of the worst kind. But I'm going anyway. I've got an old score to settle with Bitar. Um... He's definitely called people from DC pencil necks before. I almost think he said bean counter before, too. These are like his favorite go-tos. Alima, begin the attack run. I've got to take out those missile launchers. Copy that, Chief. Somalis have taken over the ship's weapon systems? They won't have them for long. What? What is this music? Incoming what? Gunfire on the deck. Gabe, focus on the launchers. That's a launcher, bro. Got it, got it, got it. Destroyed. Take us down. Rocket launchers. Zone is way too hot. RPGs on the deck. Take them out. Choppers not built to take this. What do you all see? What do you all see? They're still coming. Got it. There's our guy. those guys from the deck. Tatris, thanks for being a 34 monther. The Bronco lives on in our hearts and our computers. Ooh. Forget Cordell. Do you think you can decompile the Bronco? Send me the position of that distress signal. Can he be rescued? Just inside the aft superstructure. Roger that. Logan out. 
Can I get an Oya for starting my vacation? No, sorry, Uzi. Contact Uzi. Vacation's over. I've got a score to settle. This fucking music, bro. What is this? Is this like inspired by 24? What's the inspiration here? Oh, you're right. It is easier to just use uh, right analogs. Well, it's a little touchy. A little touchy. Look at that. Blackhawk down-ish. There we go. Spectre taken, hell yeah. This is after Metal Gear Solid 2 by many years. It's pretty sweet, though. Nobody's as good as Gabe. Nobody does it like Gabe. This is 2007. Dang. Um. This song teases you with the um, goosebumps theme. Live warhead on the deck. Bring your lift cable to my position. It gets very close to do 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 do. What do you need me to do? Connect the cable. Holy shit! They added QTEs. Locked down. Move it out. Sorry, we got to see what happens if you don't do it. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Gabe. Lockdown. There you go, bud. Have I tried Warhammer Bolt Gun? No, I don't know what it is, honestly. What is that? Oh, shit. I shot your ear, bro. Good duck. Good duel, my friend. Uh, maybe we should switch guns. Not that. Not needed. So how do we switch guns? Ooh, hey. They changed the controls on us, Chad. I don't know how to switch guns. Daxworth, thanks for being a 21-mother. 
It's a boomer shooter. Really? When did it come out? Odd muddle thanks to being a 13 monther. That poor guy. Came out a week ago. Sorry, we're talking about uh, Warhammer Bolt Gun chat. This is the boomer shooter. This is a boomer shooter for other reasons. No, I haven't seen a trailer. I haven't seen anything on it, chat. Okay, now I really need to know how to switch weapons. Yeah, give me the specter, baby. Hold right on the D-pad, hell yeah. Good shit. Thanks, words and dreams. Oh, please. Wounded spec ops is buried under this debris. Alima, get over here. Negative. RPG is above your position. Negative. Sorry, bro. I can't help you right now. Ready when you are. Can't. Ready when you are. Uh, okay, so I need to kill some rocket. Oh, there he is. I see him. I see him. Alima, it's clear. Bring that bird in close. On my way. This bird's big. Too late. He's dead. <laughs> Gone, bro. <laughs> oh, come on now. New composer team for this game. One came from SOCOM and did Metal Gear Solid 5 later. Wow. The other is new to video games, but did go on to compose for Uncharted 3. Very cool. Should we try to rescue this guy? He did say help me, and obviously I dicked around for a while. If the Celtics managed to win today, would you be worried that the heat would blow the series? Yeah, of course I'd be worried. I already told you, I'm I'm buying a Jamal Murray jersey if uh, the Celtics win. I'm going to try to save this guy. I'm going to try to save this guy. Help me. Wounded spec ops is buried under this debris. Alima, get over here. Negative. Alima, it's clear. Bring that bird in close. On my way. The last game actually had some cool stuff, depending on whether you were able to save people or not. Lockdown. Move Actually out. changes the props too. Damn it, we're too late. He's dead. Then he underestimated us. Again. You just cannot save this man. He's he's just destined just to die. That barrel has some physics on it, dude. Does not appear as though I can shove it through there. Uh. 
That's not how you do that, Gabe. So wait, do we think there's cool stuff in that door? Yeah, we have uh, alternate routes here, dude. Cool. Chat, you love this music? Yeah, let's... I'm sorry. I think we're going too far ahead. Let's go back to that secret door. Jemikov, thanks for being a 24-monther. Congrats on two years. Aiming looks stiff. Um... Yeah, you, you, I'm using the face buttons. You can use the right analog stick on this version, and I think they might have patched the other ones too. You can do this. But I prefer the stiffness. Okay, there's going to be a secret document in here. Jinkies. Even better. An M4 carbine. You like the draw distance of this ocean? <laughs> it's a PSP game, chat. Stop that. And no, I didn't ever, I never owned a PSP, never owned a Vita. Never a uh, desired one. I was uh, content with my Nintendo DS and 3DS. Stand by, almost there. Try open. Uh, let's open that other door. See what's in there. My God, I was just seeing things. I looked at chat and I glanced back over. And do you know what I saw on the front of the door was the, the iconic DVD logo. You know, the, the slanted, slightly slanted wide DVD. I was like, did that say DVD? Hidden evidence found. DS and 3DS were superior. It was, that was simple. What? What? Oh, they didn't like me moving the camera while I was doing that the first time. No! Check your fire. Teresa, I've got a wounded spec ops here. Vitals are weak. Get a hold of Fifth Fleet and... I can't get through. All Navy comm is down. The mission wasn't... wasn't a straight uh, up. My whole team... Uh, gone. Intel... Uh, wasn't right. Teresa, get Cordell on the line. Fucking Gabe. I am the captain now, obvious name of that uh achievement. Um He fu I, I gotta fuck what did you fucking expect? All of his partners are like Gabe. Don't take this mission. That guy isn't being forward with you. And he's like, yeah, but I've got a, I've got a score to settle with Pitar. And then he's like, hey, man. You double-crossed me. No, I don't like any car combat games. I even, I, I, I downloaded the uh, Star Wars car combat game. And I just remember what I don't like about them. 
It's basically I made a whole episode of delayed input about it. I like I don't like a multiplayer game where you can't really fully like let's say somebody shows up to your right in a shooting game. You turn right. You shoot at them. In a car combat game, you got to pivot, dude, because you can't just turn on a on your own axis. You know what I mean? You have to you got to awkwardly drive around. You might even have to hit reverse. Um but also, yeah, it's just kind of annoying to just shoot at a vehicle until it explodes, you know? Star Wars Demolition, yeah. Star Wars Demolition is just stinky. It's just a stinky game. In Twisted Metal 20120, you could, in fact, turn on a dime. That's like 90210. Yeah, actually, uh, the comments were talking about that game after I made that video. I think you could shoot. If, if it wasn't turning, you could at least, like, shoot in a complete 360-degree angle, which I think is okay. But it didn't have tubs. A big part of, like, what I don't like is that, like, when you're shooting at a human opponent, you can shoot for their chest for more guaranteed hits, or you can shoot for their head. You're less likely to hit them, but if you do, that's a critical hit. They're more likely to die. When you're just shooting at a car, it's just a car, man. It's just an armored car. You just shoot at it until it explodes. It's annoying. It's annoying to do. Those are, they're just never. It's just never fun for me. I bought a jet ski anime girl combat racing game. It was mechanically disappointing. We've all been there. You might like the new 40k Warhammer Speed Freaks then. Why are you chat? What are you doing? You're just talking to me about Warhammer games. This fe it feels like a prank. What's with all this shit? How many Warhammer games are there? Uh, my pilot, Alima Haddad, has picked up radio signals from a U.S. Special Ops force originating here on the USS Mount St. Helens. This was supposed to be a covert op, precision strike force only. Cordell is lying or incompetent. Either way, I don't like it. And based on the reception the Somalis had prepared, Bitar knew we were coming. Teresa still can't get hold, can't get hold on Leon Singh, my partner who is on vacation somewhere in Cyprus. Leon needed the break, her first in over five years. Timing couldn't be worse. Once again, Gabe Logan decided to take this mission absolutely unprovoked. <laughs> he did not have to accept this. He could have said no and hung up the phone. So here he comes at timing couldn't be worse. Like, <laughs> eliminating Pitar, fighting off the Somalis, and securing the contents of Hold 5 won't be easy, especially if Cordell isn't telling me everything. Gabe Logan. Gabe, I'm patching in Cordell. Logan, this isn't a good time. <laughs> Your planners didn't tell us Spec Ops was on site. I don't know what you're talking about. Have you secured the contents of Hold 5? What's going on, Cordell? You want me to secure Hold 5, you get Fifth Fleet to patch us into the ship's comm. No go. The Navy can't know you're even there. Comm's locked out. Just get to Hold 5 and secure it until my team arrives. Cordell out. Thanks for the help, Cordell. Teresa. I'll patch you into the network myself. Keep trying Fifth Fleet. Logan out. This poor guy hears and hears that whole conversation. <laughs> Chat, have you ever seen the assassination of Jesse James by the coward? Uh, something Ford. What's the rest of what's the who's the who's the actual coward? Robert Ford, the coward Robert Ford. That's what this is. This poor guy, this poor guy turns around to go adjust the picture frame.
because he heard Gabe Logan. He knows Gabe Logan is there and he knows Gabe Logan is going to kill him. So he turns around to take the back of the headshot. He knows his fate right there. I see it in his eyes. Poor guy. Much better. Third time's a charm. We got it the third time. That was the result Gabe was looking for. This song some more, huh? This one? Is it Casey Affleck? It is. I'm less inclined to go back and revisit that movie. You know I love Sam Rockwell. How good or bad is this game? I actually, like... Uh, like how this game plays. Like, we, we get to giggle at the dialogue and how silly the character Gabe Logan is himself, right? But I like, um... Like, the level design and the way this game controls and feels, I actually dig it. The last one we played was one of my favorite Siphon Filter games. Brad Pitt is there too. He's Jesse James. This is not at all as accurate. I should have picked up their little stubby handguns. Here, let me try something. Uh, let's try semi auto on this. We don't have a taser. There, we do have a taser. Okay, the chat, we'll just give it a shot. That's right, they nerfed its range. If you want the uh, infinite range taser from the first game, you have to like complete every uh, speed run, I think was the way it worked in the last game. All right, we're a little bit of a disadvantage there. Okay. Taking shots, chat.
A lot of video game characters would have kept going down that ladder. I actually admire this man. Yeah, let's take their stubby handgun. There we go. You're right, dude. Hey, took a look. Well, I guess this is their opportunity, right? Oh, shit. There we go. He still got a chat. Game, I can't provide any intel until you patch me into their comm tower. Copy that. Oh, this is how I patch her in. Cool. See, that was kind of that's kind of neat level design. From where we started the level to where we ended it, it's kind of cool. Alima, get out of here! Look at her giant claw. I'm under heavy rocket fire. Alima, pull out of there now! Oh shit, Alima's dead. Alima, no! <laughs> Alima's down. Requesting medevac. Naval command, come in. Cordell, anyone? Precision strike team is down. Someone acknowledge now. I gotta get down there. What's the AZL? Oh, this thing. Hell yeah. Got your cheek. Peek out. Peek out. This mission is intense. It's all Gabe's dumb fault is what feels really bad. <laughs> he could he could just climb over he could just climb over <laughs> did i end up ordering the small soldiers game chat my memory is so limited that i totally forgot about that i appreciate you reminding me i would have never remembered to order small soldiers again i would have never thought about it again thank you I appreciate that. We got to play that game. Teresa, I'm close to the chopper. Where's that medevac? It's coming, but you need to stabilize her until they arrive. Oh, shit. Oh, my friend is in there. I got a stabilizer. Shit. Bad time to be at the end of your clip. There we go. Report. Is 
Salima all right? Cancel the medevac. Then she's fine. Somalis are still looting the ship, and I'm gonna stop them. Gabe, I'm... Alima would have wanted us to finish the mission. <laughs> no, she wouldn't! No, she wouldn't! Gabe! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> this game is called Gabe's Shadow. The game is called Gabe's Shadow. Holy shit. Bitar must have really done something to him. Oh my god. All she wanted in this world was for us to complete this mission. Um, I'm guessing you have to play as the Gorgonites in the uh, Small Soldiers game. Right? There's no way we get to play as the cool the cool guys that you put on the box cover. The box art. Alima Haddad has been killed in action. Shot down by... And holy fuck. She was right there, right? She was right there trying to pick him up. And Gabe's like, well, hold on. I, I'm, I'm getting shot at. Hold on. <laughs> she was trying to pick him up. Shot down by stolen rocket launchers. If the Somalis escape, they can shoot down commercial aircraft anywhere in the world. So, I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to sink the remaining Somali boats. They can take their stolen arms to the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Alima was a good pilot, one of the best. She flew dozens of missions for me including ops to Afghanistan, Belarus, even Peru. If Leon were here, she'd call me a heartless bastard, tell me I have no feelings. Mm, maybe I don't. Alima knew the risks. All of us know the risks. When I see Leon, I'll tell her this. Killing Bitar wasn't to protect Hold 5. It was payback. Payback for Lima. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> you, you fucking idiot. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's like, uh, it reminds me of Michael Jordan trying, just like trying to find motivation. You know what I mean? He's trying to create a grudge. So like he brings Alima into this mission. She gets killed. And now he's like, oh, now it's personal. Now it's personal. You killed Alima Haddad. <laughs> Gabe Logan. The Somalis are preparing to evac. Gabe, you've got to stay on task. Cordell? These guys killed Alima. <laughs> I'm not letting them get away. They're pulling up anchor. I've got to move. Logan out. <laughs> this man's fucking lost it. He's such a different character from Siphon Filter 1. I love it. Gabe, there must be something on that boat you can use to stop it. They're looting arms from the St. Helens. I'll find something on board. Yeah, pretty nice, like, uh, environments. I've got to get onto that boat and find something to blow it up. Do these games hold up and are they fun to, as fun to play as they look? Ooh, there's a side of the ship. There's actually an incentive to come this way. Fun. I think they're actually fun to play, yeah. Because they're not hard. If this game was extremely difficult, uh, you know, we would bail on it.
but they're kind of they're just kind of fun to romp around in. This character was already too old for this shit in 2007, though. I think we could have melee killed that guy. Those used to be stealth kills. That's not right. That's not right. Those That used to be stealth. Shit. Good shit, game. environments dude this is so weird I almost feel like it's uh scans of actual objects you know what I mean like the, I feel like this is photogrammetry uh, I kind of want to go up top before I plant the explosive Oh, it doesn't look like we can. Okay, cool. You need explosives first. Oh, that's what she said. You got to find something on the boat first. Okay, 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 okay. You got to find explosives to plant explosives. Nobody does it like Gabe. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I definitely need that. Thank you, game. Are there explosives up here? Looks like no. Here we go. I've located some old C4 chargers. The bridge is over the fuel tanks. A blast there will take out the entire boat. Charge planted. Now hurry and get off the boat. I was too confident. I was a bit too confident. Okay, fair enough. Charge planted. Now hurry and get off the boat. Fair enough. Uh, this came out on PS5 a couple of weeks ago. Playing this on PS5. Pretty nice port, honestly.
so hard with it. Oh, oh, all right. Is he alive? No. That's it for him, dude. Aquatic movement is new to the Siphon Filter series here. That's Gabe, baby. He lines up the shots. No, I don't think I'll get Pursuit Force. Pursuit Force, I feel like, would have to be the kind of game that uh, at least uh, gets put on in a docket stream. Small Soldiers, special exception. You know what I mean? I don't think I would make a special exception for Pursuit Force. I don't think we have to crawl anymore. I think they're all dead, bro. Oh, to play on my own? No way. But I really might pick up that uh, RPG. Yoink. Yeah, so like an object like this, right? Why make that texture unless it's like some sort of scanned in photograph? Keep diving. Keep diving, Dave. I called him Dave. Gabe. Gabe, keep diving. Oh. Dave. <laughs> Here we go. There we go, Gabe. Oof. Stellaire, thanks for being an 18-monther. Animator, did that make sense to you? Teresa, Look at the front half of this boat. St. Helens. Just like the Titanic. All right. Yeah, I really, I wonder what they used for an animation reference there. They split the boat in half. There's just a clean line down the middle of it. Got your ear. Yeah, it's like a low-stress Metal Gear Solid, you know? So much of Metal Gear Solid is about stress. Gabe isn't here to stress you out. He's just here to line up headshots and get his friends killed. These two guys that counted. One, two, three, go. According to my schematics, you should be just outside the cargo holes. 
Oh, we didn't really talk about it. With the Metal Gear Solid collection, I feel like we got to play one of them. I feel like we have to. Talking about, uh, you know, sudden changes to the docket. I feel like that's in the cards. Three seems the least appealing to me right now with the remake coming. Ooh, I do like the idea of having the wheel decide though. Because three seems to be, three it looks like they're really just doing the same shit with the same levels again. Where are those gunshots coming from, dudes? Oh, and this is why I would want to turn this on again. There we go. Oh, you know what happened? They shot at me. They missed it. And while I went to activate switch, I deactivated it because they, one of their bullets hit the switch. They were their own demise. Opening the hatch. Twin snakes never again. The initial suicide attack happened just outside the cargo holds. Al Jamil is here for a reason. Whatever Cordell's trying to protect, Batar wants. How long can you hold your breath? That's the name of that trophy. Delta means change. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I just, like, I would not want to play 3 and then, like, even six months later play a remake of 3. There's so much of that game I have forgotten. I, w I wouldn't want to, uh, I wouldn't want it to feel like, oh, yeah, this is hard again, you know? You don't know why people dislike Twin Snakes so much? Yes, you do, though. You 100%, you, you do know why people dislike Twin Snakes so much. Number one. Everybody has CPR dummy faces. Number two, absolute insanely stupid cutscenes where Solid Snake tiptoes over rockets. Legitimately does a backflip off of a rocket that somebody has shot at him. It doesn't look cool and it's nothing that character has ever been able to do. Maybe Raiden could do that. But that's not a solid, that's not in Solid Snake's kit. <laughs> yeah, not Metal, not Metal Gear Solid 2 Raiden. Not even Metal Gear Solid 4 Raiden. Only Revengeance Raiden can tiptoe off rockets. It is absolutely crazier than anything else. Yeah, that's, that's wrong. People who say, oh, it's just as crazy as the other games. You're, you're wrong. You are incorrect. You are, you are, you are being... Uh, stupid. <laughs> no, what, uh, uh, not obtuse, uh, insincere is the word I'm looking for, right? Like, uh, unsubquicious, yeah. Unobsub unobsubquicious. No, what's the actual word? When you're making when you're making an argument but you don't actually believe it? Not disingenuous. Not disingenuous, not facetious. Bad faith. Yeah, it's more like bad faith. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing the word I'm looking for, so let's just go bad faith. Chat, when you're like, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes cutscenes are just as crazy as the rest of the series, it's a bad faith argument. You don't even fucking believe that. Or you just haven't seen those cutscenes in a long time. Shit. 
shit. That would just be somebody else's YouTube video. Not like I, I want to prove you wrong because you're so absolutely wrong about this. Even like the Revolver Ocelot fight sucks. It just sucks. It just sucks. It's not fun to watch. And no, like, Solid Snake does not flip and jump around like that ever again. Yeah, he, like, flips up to get on, like, the ceiling. Like, S Solid Snake's a superhuman in Twin Snakes, where he can just, like, flip up and, like, jump to the ceiling to avoid the, the gunshots from Revolver Ocelot. Remember when the soul of Liquid Snake possessed Ocelot with a severed arm? Never happened. Spurious. Ooh, generous respawn. Spurious is a great word. Chat, you're being spurious. You're saying the greatest soldier ever can't do a flip? Not to the top of a, a ceiling, no. Why so spurious? Okay, all right. San Antonio Spurious. Cordell is proving everything I've always suspected about DC pencil necks. <laughs> His report said that St. Helens was attacked by Somali pirates, but the blast hole in the ship's side was precise, the work of professionals. Surely Somali pirates couldn't make a blast hole like that. Bitar's group, Al Jamil, knew exactly what they were looking for, where to hit, who to kill. Why would Cordell doctor a report? Maybe he feels guilty for having my team pulled last year? When we had Bitar cornered? That's why he's sending me in now. To make amends. It won't. Not to the dead sailors of the USS Mount St. Helens. The latest victims of Bitar's terrorist campaign. Gabe Logan. Heat. Heat win tonight, Chad. Don't worry. The heat win tonight. Don't worry. In the helicopter, on the way of the The are not Bitar's getting ready to move out. ETA on Fifth Fleet's arrival. We still can't get through. It's like they've completely locked out agency comms. Keep trying. Logan out. What do you switch hands for here? We still can't get through. It's like they've completely locked out agency comms. Keep trying. <laughs> Bitar's getting ready to move out. ETA on Fifth Fleet's arrival. We still can't get through. It's like they've completely locked out agency comms. Keep trying. <laughs> Logan out. One to speak, one to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Press this button to speak. Press this button to listen. Freight elevator will take you down. Roger that. Okay, so Gabe Logan had a job last year to go hunt down Batir. Then he was fired. And he's so mad about it that he's risking his and his friends lives to go take this mission on now for a second chance at doing that one job he was hired to do last year that's what we're learning now He's a gut stabber, bro. He's a gut stabber. Hey, new song.
How do we get out of here, Gabe? What do you see, brother? What am I missing, Gabe? Fallacious argument. Yes. Chat, chat saying, I don't get why people don't like twin snakes. They're being disingenuous. They're making a fallacious argument. They know exactly why people don't like twin snakes, but they're trying to convince them otherwise. Uh, Salacious Crumb is the name of the little pet. Gabe, what am I missing, brother? Is there a button you want to press? Is there something you want to crawl under? That's a thing. That's a thing. And there's also a thing there. This is a thing too? Lift cargo door. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Gabe Logan, everyone. This is Gabe vision. <gasps> Excuse me. Yeah, same thing, a little cargo door right there. Holy shit, so if you don't put these goggles on. Oh, uh, I guess that probably would have appeared regardless. That's on me. <clears throat> Which is better, Gabe Vision or Smeagol Sight? Smeagol Sight was surprisingly uh, unnecessary. You really don't need it most of the time. So I like it. Shit, cancel that, cancel that, Gabe. Did that guy die? Nah, he's all right. <clears throat> I guess what I mean is I've heard those complaints for twin snakes before. That's true. I think they're not minor. Not worth hating twin snakes. That's exactly what I'm saying. You were saying. You know why people hate that game. You just don't think their opinions are valid. We're full. Can I get no no for discovering I had a recent, excuse me, a decent amount of mold in my pantry and spent the last hour or more cleaning it up? Cleaning up mold sucks. Yeah. Hello? Who's yelling? Chat, you don't understand. I would love to make a game exactly like this. 
I think this game's fun. Ooh, do we want a shotgun? It's always good to have a shotgun. Oh, we're back to this song again. Damn. You know what I mean? Like, if I was an indie game developer, I would just make dumb shit. Yeah, we'll take it. I don't like getting a weapon that I won't be getting um, ammo for. I liked all the free ammo we get from our uh, fallen enemies. Push pallet. Gate must be open first. Okay. Lift gate. I would like to play uh, Snake's Revenge on NES. So chat, that is the Metal Gear sequel that was produced without Kojima's uh, approval on the NES. US only, not released in Japan. The text on the back of Snake's Revenge box is insane. Why? What does it say? Um, why did I push that thing out here? What did that change? You can climb onto it and then jump over that, I bet. Okay. Nice. Zip up. I accidentally found a concept album today that was Goldar makes a metal album, and it made me think of you and Haunty Taunty. Um, Goldar makes a metal album would have done very well <laughs> in our tournament of ideas. No doubt it would have made it at least to the semifinals. What a death. The other PSP game had a good uh, ragdoll, too, actually. What's funny, though, is, uh, I mean, Goldar's voice lends itself to metal pretty easily. This is cheesy, huh? Do you think they played Metal Gear Solid 2? How are they going to do this right now? All right. There we go. Very nice. Shit. Cool. Cool prop, dude. Find an alternate route. There's one song where he's begging Finster to join him in battle because it's never too late. That's so cute, actually. 
that the songs are actually written from Goldar's perspective is, is beautiful. What's the goal in this level? Um, so there's this man named Batir, who we hate. Cargo stolen. Oh, Cordell's not gonna like this. Logan, I should have known better than to trust you with such a sensitive mission. Wrong, <laughs> if I hadn't trusted you, my pilot would still be alive. She was expendable, Logan, just like you. Stop the tar. If he gets away with the contents of... I don't give a damn about your cargo, Cordell. I'll take care of the tar. But I'm doing it for Alima. I'm done with you. Holy shit. There you go. Now you know the mission. Now you know what we're up to. We picked up a freelance gig to come and kill this guy, but we're mad at the person who hired us. I have one grenade. That would have been the time, I think. But as you can see, we don't have much respect for our opponents. I wonder if we should have played this on hard, man. Is this an elevator? Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Incoming chopper, main deck. Tar. Stolen cargo. I'm heading for the bridge. Oh my god. Gabe, there's another. The fifth fleet is firing cruise missiles at the St. Helens. They're trying to scuttle their own ship. Find a life raft. I'm sending someone to pick you up. This is wild, dude. Oh, a boss fight. My regular headshot tactics are not proving effective here. Suddenly, I'm happy to play on normal. Fahid? <laughs> what was in hold five? Tell Cordell to call off this attack. He's not answering. Gabe, get out of there. Out of time. <laughs> out of time. Cordell's not going to like this, is the name of that trophy. New York Los Angeles. سنهاجمه لكن لنخرجه من ارضنا لابد من القضاء على السبب الذي يدعوهم للبقاء هنا sorry i got to watch that one again i can't keep up with the story so we're in syria now السفينه حاضر احنا نقدر ناخذ الجهيزه على نيويورك وعلى لوس انجلس نهاية نقدر نضربه في كل محل لا سنهاجمه لكن نخرجه من أرضنا لا بد من القضاء على السبب الذي يدعوهم للبقاء هنا. To drive them from our land, we have to get rid of the reason they're here. A couple of hours. This is stuff from my private office, and this was in a locked. Shit! 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 Sorry, I meant to pause there. How long have they been here? 
That's his daughter and uh this is stuff from my private office. The mother of his daughter. And this was in a locked cabinet. I know. They tried to take everything. It's a special warrant. No idea how he got it signed. Logan, there you are. Good. You it says special warrant in big letters and he's reading the back of the paper. No idea how he got it signed. <laughs> Shit, sorry. No idea how he got it signed. Logan, there you are. Good. You made it back. What is this, Cordell? What are your people doing here? Cleaning up your goddamn mess. Cleaning up my mess? <laughs> you know what your problem is, Logan? You're reckless. You're a one-man army who follows the rules when it suits you. I'm not in the mood for this crap, Cordell. You sent me out there knowing Batar was after Hold 5. Where's your chief of operations? Where's Leon Zing? You've gone through our files. You already know. You're right. I do know. Zing's on personal leave. A vacation in Cyprus. Is that right? What's your point, Cordell? You can't reach her, can you? Why? God, Logan, you really are a fool. You can't reach her because Zing's not in Cyprus. She's on the run. With him. Where were these taken? When? Either she's defected, or she's a double agent. What a load of crap! Leon is not a double agent. Regardless, she's off the reservation. Your agency is compromised. I've heard enough. As of 0800, agency operations are suspended. Your staff is confined to town and is to be available for questioning. I've read the order. You can go through our files. Nothing more. Leave. We're through here. Leon has a lover? What have we got? Not much. Cordell shut down access to all of his files on Leon. Those could have been taken anywhere. What are you doing? I've only got one option. Dane Bishop? After what happened last time? Wasn't his fault. He sinks a three-acre drilling platform, and it wasn't his fault? He should stick to salvage work. Leave the covert ops to us. The Egyptian government managed to salvage most of it. They hired Dane to do the salvage work. <laughs> Whatever Cordell was transporting had a courier. I need to find out. <laughs> the Egyptian government managed to salvage most of it. This guy is, he's too much, bro. Yeah, what's down there? And for that, I need Dane Bishop. Does anyone does anyone remember Dane Bishop? Because I do not. This is where she went down. Should be two, three hundred feet. Uh huh. Good. Look at that thing. Assuming you don't get us killed. Hey, have I ever let you down, buddy? Yes. I mean, when it counted. Look at him swing, swimming as fast as that submarine. This guy's hauling ass. <laughs> What'd you sign me up for? Who the hell are these guys? Spetsnaz. Looks like you're gonna earn your pay this time. Spetsnaz. Only heard of that because of Metal Gear Solid 2. Can I get no, no, I actually burnt my hand pouring out boiling hot spaghetti water and it made me tip all my spaghetti in the sink. Spaghetti water is a funny phrase, though. The status of the memory stick duo has changed. Would you like to create a profile to save your progress? Sure. Yeah, it's Gabe. Get it right. Such a weird question to ask me. Episode 2, Part 1. Spetsnaz, nothing surprises me anymore. First I find that Bitar and Al-Jamil have stolen U.S. classified material from St. Helens, sinking it in the process. Now I find Russian Spetsnaz divers in the wreck site. I've encountered them before, Kudrenko's men. They're professional, ruthless, and dangerous. Do these guys even have a moral code? <laughs> 
I'm diving on the wreck to find evidence. I'm hoping Cordell's couriers had copies of his case files, which will have the location of where the surveillance photos of Leon were taken. Oh, shit. Chat, you're right. Gabe Logan has become a Bronco. The man's a Bronco. I wish he didn't show us those photos of Leon. That's the real reason we're diving down here. Leon always called Bishop a renegade cowboy. And it's true he was dishonorably discharged from the SAS. Drinking? Fighting? I don't remember why. I just hope he holds it together for one last dive. Gabe Logan. Russian divers. What are these guys doing here? This isn't a combat satellite. I don't remember why he was dishonorably discharged. Bishop, shut your systems down and don't draw any attention to yourself. I'll take care of the divers. Cool aquatic mission mode, dude. Imagine the water pressure down here. Dane's VO is Travis Touchdown? Doing an Australian accent? Awesome. There's like there was nothing like this at the PlayStation Showcase. Closest we got, I think, were those like first-person VR shooting games. Oh, that's my guy. Okay. actually stick into his head. Dang. I was looking back through the PSVR stuff. It was mostly first person shooting games. And like one of them was kind of like a wild uh like music went crazy there. Uh I forget what the name of it. It's like Synapse or something. You know what I mean? It's like uh, just visually crazy, but you're still just shooting things with regular looking guns. And then there was one that was just like, yeah, this is just a regular gun shooting game. Resident Evil 4. And then um, Beat Saber. And that was it. I'm sorry. I just wanted to see. I wanted to see what happened. And I feel fulfilled. But you'd better move through quick. In this case, this guy doesn't die, but Gabe Logan does. He gets through just fine. Gabe Logan blows up. I 
I definitely thought Sony had more uh, VR games to show. Beat Saber was the only uh, available today kind of trailer, actually. cool mission dude turn it on turn on the searchlight turn it on Chat, chat, this is writing with zero research, and I actually really like it. Too strong. <laughs> this is just writing whatever the hell you want. Ooh, what is that? Spear gun, hell yeah. All right, so we hit the three things that are like marked. Let's use Gabe Vision. Gabe Vision pays off again, dude. Did you hear how different that sounded, chat? This will take some time. But once I start cutting, it'll make a lot of noise. So expect company. Here we go. Let's get that spear gun out, dude. Keep an eye out for reds. Sorry, bro. You just shoot their tanks. Cool. This is awesome, dude. Nice shot, Gabe. Oh, I got zero HP, dude. Shit. Reinforcements. Buy me some more time. Reload, reload. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. Now, those were two good shots. Shit. Don't swim at them, Gabe. Enemy. 
I love that the oxygen tank is an instant kill. That's just sweet. That's the tub I'm talking about, chat. That's the tub. That's what car combat games are missing. He's right next to me. Damn it. More divers. No more divers. I'm taking damage. From home, dude. What the hell? I'm all done. <laughs> nice mission. I like that. So far, the spawns have been good. No magicians. This isn't a combat sub. That must be a reference to some movie. All right, we'll take a break right there. That's perfect. Bishop cut an opening in the ship, and a vacuum of water pulled me inside. I missed that part. It's a wonder I'm still alive. What? Cordell's courier files are here. And hopefully they will lead me to Leon. Maybe I'll even discover what Cordell was shipping in Cargo Hold 5. More Spetsnaz were, are inside, and I'll have to deal with them alone. Not that Bishop was much help. His mini-sub was under-equipped for the mission, but neither of us had expected to encounter Spetsnaz dive teams. Bishop gets himself into a lot of bad situations. And he's always developed a knack for improvising solutions that are always reckless. And quite often, involve blowing something up. Pulling a bishop is Teresa's way of saying you've just done something stupid. Gabe Logan. Perfect. Perfect. Sorry, somebody talking about Dino Crisis? If Silent Hill does well, we'll get a Dino Crisis remake. Wait, how are those related? Capcom doesn't give a shit how Silent Hill does. <laughs> Can I get an oh yeah for the pizza I made? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, no. You were a little overboard with the onions here. Because if Silent Hill and Alone in the Dark can make it, so can Dino Crisis. I bet, uh, I bet they're thinking about it. I bet they're thinking about it, honestly. This pizza is way too onion heavy. The cheese looks legit. The crust, delectable. Whatever the meat is, great. The onions... They cost you the oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would pick them off. Man, this looks like such a nice environment too. You know what I mean? Like, look at this nice outdoor table, that nice wooden uh, cutting board. This looks nice. That's just a nice photo. All right, let's take that quick break. Uh, chat, does Bishop survive? I don't think so. I think there's no way this poor guy gets out of this mission alive. <laughs> so, like, Gabe Logan's gonna get another one of his friends killed and just get angrier and angry at some guy that we don't really know what he did wrong yet. He's about to pull a Bishop. Yeah, and it's really funny, right? So the bad... <laughs> the one scene we see with the bad guy, Batir, he's talking to some guy. He's like, hey, we could go, like... We could blow up New York City or we could blow up Los Angeles with this device. And the bad guy says, like, no. What we will do is just get the Americans out of our country. 
And we're supposed to be like, whoa. This bad guy. <laughs> now I really hate him. <laughs> Dane is Gabe's Gollum persona. No, Dane's real, man. Dane's Dane's very real. Dane got a, got us down here. Cut a hole in the wall. Um. All right. Quick break. Pour some tea. I'll be back real soon. See you, chat. Welcome to the playlist. All right, chat. I was actually thinking about this. Um, whoever the greatest soldier in the world is, right? If we were able to find them, you know what I mean? If like, cosmically we're able just to do like a Google search for the world's greatest soldier. If you asked that person to do a flip, I'm not sure they could. It's not really part of being the world's greatest soldier is being able to do a backflip while you're standing. Gabe definitely could not. If you ask Gabe Logan to, hey, do a backflip, he's not going to do one for you. So yeah, I, I, like to answer that one question a long time ago, no, I don't think the world's greatest soldier can do a backflip. Not to the ceiling and maybe not even standing in place. Can I get no yeah for my new profile pic? Hey, 
explain the context to me. Because this image doesn't make me happy. It's a wonderful illustration, but there's something truly unnerving about it. That's a giant enemy Chad. Oh, could it be true? Oh, could it be true? Could it be true? Could it be true? Oh my God. Could it be true? Holy shit. Chat, you think I you think I crawl through a season pass fast now? Wait till this guy's at level 100. You will see me grinding Fortnite. If this guy's at the end of the season pass, I'll be playing every day. You don't have what it takes for 100. Chat, come on now. Come on now. You don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know. I bought the skin that like accelerate, that like levels me up super fast. I'm at like level 150 now. You're saying because the leaker it comes from, Sheena BR, that that's real. Oh my God. Hell yeah. The new season's not like for two weeks, I think, still. He'd be the mid-season quest collab. Yeah, so that's what they did with uh, The Witcher. That's what they did with Attack on Titan. That could also be the Transformers thing. I could see that happening too. Oh, the guy up front's just a guy. So is the tiger. So is the person with the red vest. You know what I mean? Fortnite has to create their own characters, chat. It's not always a collaboration. They actually, you know, they, they make some good shit on their own. It's not Nathan Drake. Just a guy. The robot is not just a guy. What you see, the robot there would be Optimus Prime of the series Transformers. Tiger does look like a Meow Skulls variant. I agree. Megatron and Bumblebee? God, Starscream. Get him in. Now, the problem with Starscream is you would have to get rid of all his back shit. You can't have wings because... Uh, it wouldn't be right, you know? Like, maybe they can make, like, wings as, a, like, a little bit of back bling, but uh, you can't have that kind of silhouette. Sound wave. Oh, my God. Transformers is the collaboration I didn't know I wanted in Fortnite. That's a, that's a good one, dude. That'd be a very, very good one. Lead character designer worked on this siphon filter, too. I don't hate the character designs of this game. I like I like the uh the weird head necklace that Teresa has. Maybe you can tell me what that's about, chat. It's a, it looks like she's got a necklace that goes around her forehead and then drops down to the side. It's nice. Yeah, where's Optimus Primal? You're right. Optimus Primal would be nice to see too. Dinobot? Oh my god. Come on now. They won't have them all. They can't have them all. But there's a lot of Transformers I would love to play as. Is it not weird that Optimus is human-sized? Not at all weird to me, no. No, which is funny, right? Because I, I talked about scaling up Miles Morales to be the same height as everybody else feels weird. But for some reason, shrinking Optimus down to human height isn't too weird to me. I can deal with that. And Gollum, yeah. For me, Gollum with good posture is weirder than tall Gollum, you know? I was thinking about the transformation emote. It would be really hard to pull off because it would shrink you down too much. Some emotes you could do like mid-game, right? So, like, let's say you want to hide 
you could just transform into a car and be less likely to get hit, you know? So I think it'd have to be like, I feel like it would have to shrink down to crouch height. Hasbro and Fortnite announced a skin collaboration pack with G.I. Joe. That I'm less interested in. I don't need any G.I. Joes. I'm okay without them. Yeah, I was thinking about that. There are emotes where you do like, you like ride a thing. Definitely. Where you do shrink down a little bit. But it's not, I think, shorter than crouch height. Getting fancy with the camera work. Sergeyev. Franco's <laughs> right hand. You know these bastards personally, eh? We go back a ways. Shakti stota nashli. Yaidu tuda. Slidite za pompami. Ini patapiti sudna oranchi vremini. Yeah. I need to reach the top floor of the engine room ASAP. Let me search the schematics. Don't bother. The whole place is upside down and twisted. I've got a plan. We're not blowing anything up, Bishop. Destroying the engine will take the pumps offline and cause the water levels to rise. That's a good plan. <laughs> That's a good plan. Find a way to expose the engine valves. That'll give you clean shots at each piston. Clearly something he's done before. God, they really went with this one theme for the music the whole time, huh? It's kind of loud, dude. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I already... Chat, I didn't even touch this. It starts at 50%. They know they made loud music for this game. They know what they did. I may have over-adjusted. Let me know. I can put it back up. Well played. Yeah, all this shit being upside down is actually pretty cool. Love that. Oops. No, no, no. Gabe, Gabe. Oh, okay. All right. Isla only put $6 down for Talos. Damn. Damn. I could have had it for 11 11 was my initial bid. But it's still a small victory that she can't have it. PK Rocket, thanks for being a 36 monther. Congrats on the three years. Moved to the middle of nowhere. So I haven't caught a stream in a while. Hope all is good. All is good. Hope life in the middle of nowhere is good. So I have $39 left for one game. One game and two counter picks. Thirty-nine left for one game is actually a pretty good spot to be in, chat. Can't complain. Valve covers open. What do I do? Shoot them? Yep. Down. <laughs> cool.
You know what? These guys are magicians. Oh, I see. They're using the zip cords. I was wondering where they're spawning from, but no, they're 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 legit. They're not magicians. Where'd your friend go? There he is. One more. <laughs> Pumps are offline. Water levels right. Chabello, thanks for gifting that gift sub. Working. You can apologize any time, Teresa, darling. Appropriate response there from Teresa. Can I get no no? My cat hasn't pooped in almost three days. Might have to take her to the emergency vet if she doesn't poop by tomorrow. That's a no no. No no. That's a no no. Come on, cat, get that poop out. <laughs> so for this sequel, like, uh, what do we make different? What do we add new? What do we add new? Water, somebody said. And you know what? They're making it work. I appreciate the effort they put into their water. Somebody went to the whiteboard and just wrote down the word water. Gabe's shadow plus water. No, I really hate that gun, though. All right, so let's try um, more of this weird thing. Wait, why does it got a little arc to it? Because we're not underwater anymore, I'm guessing. Hmm. Can I take this cord the other way? That's a one-way cord, dude. Okay. Then I'm not actually sure how to get up there. Might be time for Gabe Vision. No, I just saw it. <laughs> this guy is so cool. <laughs> AZL takes you down, RTL takes you up. Gabe. Turn wheel. <clears throat> Overheating. I'll have the code soon. The reactor's going critical. Yeah, we simply we'll can't use that weapon. Make it. Meet me at the reactor. We're gonna shut it down. We're screwed either way. So why the hell not? Personal rates. And now a bloody nuclear reactor? You're not paying me enough for this. We should have bought Griffin. Huh? Recruiting ya! That man wanted a duel. I like it.
take a sip of tea. Takahashi, the author of the latest Kamen Rider show, went for a battle royale structure and posted that he spent six months before show running just playing Fortnite and Apex Legends. It's the only battle royale show I've ever seen that has play that has the players gathering useful items in boxes and sometimes purchasing purely cosmetic outfits. You can tell he got in deep. So the common rider, the most recent common rider season is a battle royale. That's cool as hell. Yeah, I think that's going to be a way around. How deep in the season are? Every 12 episodes is a loop, Fortnite style. That's crazy. Who's this guy? I'm missing the music a little bit. I'll turn it back up. Damn. Bishop, I'm trapped in the silo room. Come cut me out of here. Sorry, mate. I'm still searching for a way in. Good shit, Gabe. As always, good shit. Grenades turn out to be very helpful for boss fights. Same thing, right? Yeah. Logan, I'm still trying to board. Bishop, your signal's breaking up. Damn it. I've lost contact with Bishop. We should shoot! Oh, you can move with this aim in even. That's nice. Is that guy still alive? Yeah. How's your ankle feel? How's that feel? Gabe could beat Craven, no question. Craven would be so embarrassed. Snug mode, 100% the uh, heat is winning tonight. Shit. Shit. They got me. Yeah, I'm not letting that second guy come. Yeah, right, second guy. Ooh, look at him wave. Shit. Gabe slow and steady does not work against the rush. And then they used a fire hydrant against me? Damn. Fuck. This guy. Damn. He's nasty.
Gabe, are we doing something bad? Gabe, are we doing something bad? Chat, you're teaching me a lot about Common Rider right now. So there was already a Common Rider season that was video game themed and had its own battle royale arc in it. How many episodes are in a sea? Oh boy. No, you're right, Chat. We're losing we're losing something in the game's performance right now. You're not wrong about that. Uh, I'm about to go into Logan Vision. I think we're going to ride this rocket to the top of the submarine. That is not at all what we're going to do. Okay, got it. Game? Get a hold of yourself. Usually 50 eps. That's crazy. There's a new one every year. They take two they take two weeks off. Yeah, I don't know what has happened, but this rocket room has just broken the game. What would you have me do? Looks like we gotta dive. Remove cover. This seems like a bad idea, Gabe. Gabe, what are we doing? Gabe, don't. Take Warhead? There we go. Oh, Damn shit. It, Gabe, you are not using a Warhead to open that door. <laughs> I'm not using the entire Warhead. I love that at least, I love that at least there's a voice of reason every time. You know what I mean? He does at least have somebody telling him, don't, don't. Gabe, don't. Oh, I'm not going to use the entire warhead. Come on. Trust me, Teresa. By the way, I really like your forehead necklace. I thought that was very classy. What do they call those? Gabe? Not now! Oh shit. Elites. We got elites. They might be rushing us. Not a pun. Not enough bidding wars in your league. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully that teaches... I mean, I only have one game left to pick up, but hopefully that teaches Isla. She can't just get everything for cheap, you know? I overpaid, but it sent a message. All right, I'm going to try to get a better position here. What a weird setup for this duel, dude.
Well, I thought it was worth it. I don't like the advantage they have, and they're not willing to surrender it. These guys are kicking my little butt. The elites. The elites have been kicking our little butts for too long. It's time for real Americans to take back what's ours. Join me in the fair games. I don't think those shots are connecting, brother. I think we gotta go up there. Okay. Because ah, you Teresa, their training is intense. I can tell these are elites. I was perhaps respecting the elites a bit too much. Oh shit, I gotta go in the water. Jump, jump, Gabe, 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 damn it, Gabe! I think we're okay, actually. On my way to the reactor room. How'd you get past that door? I pulled a Dane Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> How does a classified military shipment become common knowledge? Bitar knew about the contents of Hold 5 and managed to steal it. A squad of special ops knew about Bitar and paid for that knowledge with their lives. Now it's clear that the Russians know something as well. Kudrinko's men were already had already beat me to Cordell's courier files. This is all tied together somehow. Bishop says the ship's reactor is showing signs of a meltdown. We might get we must get inside the engine room and shut down the entire atomic core. If the Spetsnaz have reached the cooling chambers, we're all in trouble. When the cold sea water hits those isotopes, Oh, Bishop complains that he's not being paid enough for this. I told him that when it's all over, he can talk to Cordell and put in for hazard pay. Gabe Logan. He's a Bronco, man. We have to hurry before Sergeyev gets away with those codes. Don't worry. He's not going anywhere. Damn it. It's the reactor. The whole ship's breaking up. My route's blocked. Let's rendezvous with the reactor. It's camera work, man. Hey, pal, you okay? This gun really is bad, huh? Yeah, I'm ready to be ups out of the upside down tanker. No doubt. Remove debris. Bishop, I've hit a roadblock. What can I do? Nothing from your position. I'll figure it out. Just uh, keeping you updated. <laughs> Okay. All right, guy. <laughs> uh, you can't help me, so... Just letting you know. I'm blocked, so... Time for Gabe Vision. There is something up there. And something up there. We're going up.
How do we get up there, Gabe? Can you climb? Gabe, can you climb that? No. Who do you think I am, a gymnast? Sorry, Gabe. Um, we do need to get up there, though, brother. Who do you think I am, a gymnast? Are you making fun of how I phrased that question? No. No. Just like, what do you think? Like, it, normally people would say, what do you think I am? I've had enough of your pencil-necked tongue-wagging. <laughs> Actually, I think I would have preferred it. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, uh, that's still not it, though. I still can't get up from down here. Look at that. I gotta, like, shove that down here, I feel like, from up there. Hmm. Maybe I shoot the first thing we saw? So this is the thing we have to push down somehow. Yeah, what is this? Can I shoot that from here? What is that thing? Not a shootable. Tender Crisp! Thanks for being a six-monther. Talos Principle confirmed for this year? Uh, y yeah. In their, really, in their trailer, they said this year. Obviously, anything can and will be delayed. Ooh, what do we hear? Oh, no. Yeah, we can't go to whatever is down there yet. So we have this, which it seems unimportant. We have this, which will lead us, I think. We're going to, like, knock it off there to go down there. But I need to figure out how to get my little Gabe Logan body up into the ceiling. And I have no clue how to do that right now. Ow! Oh, Gabe! You all right? You all right? Yeah. Oh, Gabe! You Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Solid Snake would do a flip. I know. Yeah, he'd get right up to that ceiling just with one little swift flip. Can we use this somehow? To get up there? There will be so many delays. There will be. There's no way that all the games that are scheduled to come out this fall come out this fall. There's simply no way. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, we can take Gabe Vision off. Honestly, that feels like I was just being dense on my part. You know what I mean? That didn't seem that obtuse. <laughs> Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. They could have just animated it falling straight into the debris, but instead they animated it dropping in front of the debris and just picking up some momentum rolling forward into the debris, which was still enough to make it plummet I'm on board now. into the water below. Ow. That really hurt. Transformers in Fortnite. Can you imagine? Gabe, what's going on? Are the bubbles stopping you? Is that what you're trying to communicate with me? It's the bubbles. All right. I can't move because of the bubbles. I get it now. I get it now. All right. So let's try to turn off those bubbles. 
If I can shut those bubbles, I get it. No, I get it, bud. There we go. See, this is a good video game. What do I think about Wal Mark Wahlberg playing Gabe in a live-action adaptation? Um, Mark Wahlberg is surprisingly good at playing somebody who's flustered. You know what I mean? Need a lift, mate? I think it'd be pretty good casting. You ever seen I Heart Huckabees? Yeah, let me up there. Shit, this man's about to die. I'm about to watch him get stabbed. <laughs> he still got it, man. He still has the vert. Look at this jump, dude. Gabe can dunk. <laughs> it's like the angels in the outfield pick him up. It's like he gets he gets like normal jump height, right? And then the angels in the outfield kind of like pick him up and get him the rest of the way there. <laughs> Reactors approaching a meltdown and the joints crawling with reds. Ah. Teresa, what the hell's going on? Navy's on the scene. I think they're dropping depth charges. But yeah, that's why he played basketball in college. That's the canonical reason. This makes no sense. It's their bloody ship. Reactor will never hold up. We need to shut it down ASAP. He couldn't pass, dribble, or shoot, but he could dunk. Reactor's down this corridor. <laughs> hey, fellas. Can you explain the pick and roll? Okay. <clears throat> We've already been through this. <laughs> oh, they have a barrel behind them. We're good. Advance. Lead the way. Million dollar question is, do we get Final Fantasy Rebirth this year, or do they plan ahead by announcing a holiday season release date to soften the inevitable low? Well, so here's the thing, 11 words. Uh, last year, they announced uh, Rebirth and... Um, shit. The, the PSP game on the same day. And they said winter for both of them. Bishop, wait here. They said the, the PSP game will be inside. winter 2023, and they said uh, Rebirth will be win winter 2024. Crisis Core, thank you. I need Gabe Vision, dude. So, like... I would think they would love to get it out this year. I think they would love that. But I think they just kind of have realistic expectations for themselves. Nice work, Logan. <laughs> nice work. Logan. Ah, I'm going. Right when they first announced it, they said winter 2023. Ah. And so everybody was surprised. Sorry. Uh... Yeah, everyone is surprised that, like, it actually came out last year, right? Crisis Core, I mean. No, what they say, they didn't say winter 2023 for uh, Rebirth. They said something else. Shit, now I gotta go back and look at that. I gotta go back and look at their exact wording. No one was surprised Crisis Core came out last year. Not true. 
At least I was. There's one per like at least I was. They didn't say a year. They said this winter for Crisis Core. Got it. What we've done, that's set in stone. Got it. And for Rebirth, they said next winter. Yep, 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 yep. So they said this winter for uh, Crisis Core. They said next winter for Rebirth. So they got a cushion on both sides. So, so it means 2023 is still wide open. You could, they could absolutely release it December of this year. They said this and next. It says available next winter. Though, yeah, I mean, like, for real, probably not even winter of 2024. Take your time. Yeah, probably March. Hello? We act just through that door, but it requires security clearance. Start hacking. <laughs> no math whiz, so this will take some time. <laughs> what are you doing? What buttons are you pressing? <laughs> I'll watch your back. <laughs> Just see. Start hacking. <laughs> Damn. Like, he's R2-D2, man. Like, he just has access to everything. Depth charges are too close. Depth charges are too close. Gabe Vision. Ooh, not helping. Ah, uh, shit. There we go. We used this once in the last game. It was so cool. Come on, man. Fucking stop this shit. What happened to my headshots? All right. God damn it. And then he just tucks away immediately. I think it's just an accurate, inaccurate gun. No, they just have a lot of defense. Oh. Almost there. Fuck this. Rock and roll. He did not say I'm in. He said rock and roll. Square Enix currently says no plans for DLC or an expansion to FF16. Gwen. 
What a wild thing to say. The fuel rods are still inside the core. We need to remove them to prevent a meltdown. For security reasons, it takes two guys to control each fuel rod. Good thing I brought you. Climb up to the second floor and work the terminals there. I'll get the ones down here. This is crazy. We're not gonna we're gonna we're not gonna get halfway through this game tonight. Meltdown in three minutes. Oop, activate what? Switch. Over here. I'll be right there. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. On your mark. Logan, this isn't nuclear science. Uh, wait, it is. Ready when you are. Logan, this isn't nuclear science. Uh, wait, it is. We're doing great. <laughs> Thank you, I needed that. Begin. Fuel rod removed. Nice. Cause cooling down. Okay. Logan vision, please. Over here. I'll be right there. This is cool. On your mark. Now. That's two. Sweet. Okay. We're doing this. Bishop. Move to the terminal below me. Bishop. Right there. Come on, Bishop. We're doing great. Now. Last rod extracted. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Now what happens? Is stable for now. Come on. Subs park this way. Sergeyev still has the courier codes. He can't get far. Trust me. Bishop. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. I'll have to find another way around. Why? Why? What just happened? Sergeyev's hiding in front of the reactor. I can't get a clean shot without hitting the cooling chamber. Oh, bloody Reds. Never fight fair. Okay. Cool challenge. You want to test it anyway? Yeah, let's toss a grenade over there. What happened, Gabe? What happened, Gabe? What do you mean hidden evidence found? What do you mean? What hidden evidence did I find? Oh, I never threw it. That's classified. <laughs> Thanks, chat. You tell me where my sub went, and I'll let you go. No deal. The Russian ruble's worth more than your word. Granato! <laughs> Let's get out of here now. Subs out this way. Come on. <laughs> I'm no math whiz is the name of that trophy. Holy shit. See, Chad, it only takes one good throw. You were looking at me like, why is he still throwing grenades? Why is he still trying that? Why would he even still be tossing these grenades 
if they're clearly not going to work. And then we finally got it right on the th third grenade. Blew him right up. Now, if Leon were here, even she would be impressed with Bishop's performance on this mission. Without his expertise and cool head under fire, the mission would have failed, and Kudrenko would have whatever in is in Cordell's files. But I wonder why Bishop takes jobs like this. The IPCA pays little compared to his military and Middle Eastern oil contracts. Maybe these operations remind him of his life in the SAS and the soldier he used to be. Anyway, Teresa's reporting the Fifth Fleet is on its way here to destroy the wreck. Did the Navy finally get intel that Kudrenko and the Spetsnaz were on site? Or worse, does Cordell know that I'm here? Maybe Cordell is trying to make sure that whatever secrets went down with the Mount St. Helens stayed buried forever. And me with them, Gabe Logan. If I could have any flavored turned ice cream, what would it go for? Uh, French fries. Shockwaves must have knocked its mooring loose. Let's go. It can't be far. The reactor won't hold up to the shelling. Find your boat now. We're screwed without that sub. Follow me. Gate, there are divers over here. Oh, did you need that to breathe? Shit, shit. That's all of them. I parked it right here. Look how cool it is, just sticking out of his forehead. Oh, more divers. Bishop, look out. More divers. Supposed to be Australian. Um, Reinforcements. And oh yeah, for finally watching Marathoning Barry right before the series finale. Yeah, it's coming. That's a big oh yeah. Hey, nice shot, Bishop. Follow me. It has to be this way. Oh yeah. for his tub. I actually like these aquatic battles, man. They're silly. It controls about how you expect it to. That's all of them. You said that before. Where could she have gone? From the cliff. How's Little Mermaid doing today? There she is. Did I boost the music back? No, I never did. Oh, this is not good. Hydraulic system shot, which means I can't steer. Can you fix it? The control valve's toast. Can't be repaired. I'll find one. Well, I don't know what I'd expect. Like Lion King is like one of the biggest movies of all time, you know? One of the highest grossing movies 
of all time. Oh, I gotta go find a valve. Let's use Gabe Vision. Jinkies. It's just hidden evidence. Nothing useful that way. It is funny. I mean, the movie's called The Little Mermaid. You know what I mean? Chat, do you know what I mean? The movie is called The Little Mermaid. It's not a great title. Where are you so far? Ooh, jinkies. There it is. Is that a helicopter? Jackpot. Bishop, I found a valve. Disassembling hydraulic system. Good find, Gabe. That would have been very difficult without Gabe vision. I <laughs> got your butt. This way, Logan. What do you need, brother? What's taking so long? I'm right next to you. Install a valve there, near the O2 tanks, while I scan for damage. Right. Valve installed. Valve installed. No research chat. Soviet stalker submarine images. I'm not, I'm not finding anything like that. The large mermaid. I would watch a movie called the large mermaid. Yeah. Little mermaid. I'm not interested. Large mermaid. Talk to me. I'm listening. You have my attention. 125 mil so far. Okay. So, whoa, on a, on a Friday? Or is that like the weekend estimate? Yeah, I'm not finding anything that looks like this. It looks like, to me, it reminds me of like, um, like a Dragon Ball Red Ribbon Army kind of vehicle, you know? Submarine, you are trapped. The bastards hacked into our comm channel. Look at that silly thing. Won't hurt him, but those depth charges will. As he's trying to recover, move in and rip out his hydraulic system. Okay. Surrender or die. Listen, buddy. This is an unlisted number. Oh, I think I was supposed to hit that depth charge. Bishop, no! There is nowhere to run. Shit, this is tough. I'm out of bullets. Bishop, I'm sorry. This is hard. I'm sorry, Bishop. Enemy submarine, you are trapped. It's not the size of your sub, it's how you use it, mate. Protect him. Now okay. tear him apart. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Reinforce 
boss <laughs> I'm not gonna kill these guys with my matrix bullets, dude. Damn. Do any of you have any ammo I could borrow? <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. That's what I needed. Surrender or die. Listen, buddy. This is an unlisted number. Wait until the death charges are closer to the sun. I thought it was really close, my friend. I tried my hardest there. You're about to take another missile for that. We had him. Oh, get there, Gabe. Get there, Gabe. Not a lot of time, Gabe. Fuck. That was my chance, huh? It's over? Yep. Fuck. Enemy submarine, you are trapped. It's not the size of your sub. It's how you use it, mate. Fuck, game? All right, all right. I got to stop using the uh, right analog stick. It, for some reason, up down is like way more sensitive than like diagonal. Ah. Surrender or die. Oops. Listen, buddy. This is an unlisted number. Detective. Now tear him apart. The sequence is incredibly difficult. How was I supposed to kill all three guys and then also get that depth charge in time, you know? Just brutal. boss fight. I liked that one. Underwater spelunking. Can I get Noya for beating a second divine beast in Breath of the Wild? Already doubling my progress from last time. Sure. Breath of the Wild, oh yes. Oh yeah. <gasps> what? I'm sorry, I gotta rewind. I gotta rewind. It's Leon time. We're gonna meet Leon's lover. 
，我将亲自对付他们。According to the courier's files, MI6 took the photos of Leon by accident. Oh. Smugglers have been taking advantage of the border skirmish along the Azerbaijan border. MI6 has been running a surveillance off to track them. They've set up cameras that take digital images every few minutes. They run each image through their face recognition software. When Leon's image came back hot, they traced her ID to U.S. intelligence. That's how Cordell found her. Who's she traveling with? MI6 ran a blank. So have we. This is where he and Leon stayed, according to MI6. One room, three nights. Fuck. Gabe, what's Leon doing? Who is she with? I mean, I know she's not a double agent, but how much do you really know about her past? Leon and I have been partners for ten years. <laughs> I know enough. Get MI6 on the line. Maggie Powers? Will she have <laughs> Maggie Powers is back, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. Maggie Powers is Austin Powers' sister, but she's dead serious. Makes sense. It's the only way they could have known about the St. Helens. Still no contact with Maggie. Your luck with the ladies is staying pretty consistent, I'd say. Just keep trying. Low blow, Teresa. Come on now. <laughs> Teresa cracked the encrypted files we recovered from the St. Helens wreck. Now I know why Cordell didn't want me to find them. The photo of Leon had been cropped. The original photo shows them being held at gunpoint. She's being held... I did not pick that up from that cutscene, by the way. She's being held somewhere in Azerbaijan. There are rumors of sectarian violence, even ethnic cleansing. If Leon's here, I have to find her fast. How did Krudenko know that a small town in Azerbaijan is somehow linked to Petar and the contents of Cargo Hold 5? The photos of Leon were taken by MI6, part of a routine surveillance op. Maybe the Spetsnaz have a mole in the British intelligence. Maggie Powers, my old contact in MI6, has agreed to meet me in the operations area. She would only brief me in person. I'm hoping she has some answers. Maggie? Teresa, I'm inside the perimeter. Patching through Maggie's rendezvous coordinates. More water. More water. They're using it. Ah! They it's developed the tech. Zone. So they're going to use that water. Oh, God. Correct that. This isn't a war zone. It's genocide. And Maggie's in the middle of it. So is Leon. Logan out. This game is never ready to responsibly deal with the themes that it brings up. Problem the whole series has had. Sorry about that, KB boy. Let's get out of here. It's genocide. Guy ragdolls into a wall. I know. I know. He's not ready for it. He's not ready for this responsibility. Here? Yep. Damn. Don't worry, I'll fix the genocide. Hey you! Stop ethnic cleansing!
cut it out. <laughs> Problem solved. Gabe Logan, baby. Many targets here. So crazy they made a multiplayer only PSP siphon filter game and it was the last siphon filter game of all time. Never another one after that, huh? That's just wild. For now, for now, for now, for now, for now. Chat, a game as a service where I can buy Gabe Logan new outfits every month? Shit, I shouldn't have jumped. Look before you leave, chat. Nice shooting, though, Gabe. Good God, dude. He's not here. Assume Gabe is a service is the necessary pun. Thank you. Listen, I'm on your side, and I need help locating a friend. Hassan, our supply boat is in trouble. Majid, I'm close. I can assist Hassan. I wish I could help. But our medical supplies are on that boat. Without them, we will be defeated. Listen, help me raise the water, and I will return the favor. Be careful where you stand. The Russians water, you say? Somehow, they can walk through the laser trip wires without detonating. I've seen them before. The Russians <laughs> must have dealt with red This goes deeper than I thought. Let's go. Follow me. He just mumbles out, this goes deeper than I thought. All right. Wait, did that guy I was just with die? I feel like the hat gives you an extra bullet you can take. You can take two headshots if you're wearing a hat. Level, dude. Nice little shortcut, Gabe. I like it. Shit. Ooh, he walked right back into it. Nice. I was warned of those. I was warned of those. There was an explicit cutscene. Do not get close to these mines. Which look really close to, like, um... Goldeneye mines. Willie, thanks for being a 17-monther. Would I say Death Stranding is a bit of an October type of game? I would. Yeah. It's an October type. Bloodgate's jammed. Opening... Gates open. Returning to control booth.
The late 2010s would have been the perfect time to bring back Siphon Filter. It's got the cinematic style Sony was doing and stealth games were slim. Ah! It would have failed. Even in late 2010s, this game would have failed. I love when they use the zip line. You gotta respect an enemy that zip lines over to you. They almost baited me into their minds again, too. I've located the resistance headquarters. Patching through now. Probably time to swap for this handgun. Yeah. Get some ammo for it. Yeah, like, with with a modern siphon filter, we talk about it every time. Can you have someone who doesn't think the character is dumb write it? You know what I mean? I'd almost rather have someone who really believes this character is cool as shit write the story as opposed to somebody who knows how dumb he is, you know? My script would be too self-aware. They got me again. Anti-Logan mines. Would I want a continuation or a fresh start? Continuation, continuation, continuation. Nope, nope. Uh, yeah, I want that one. Okay. Your fucking knees, bro, damn. PSP is advanced, man. Name a name a Nintendo DS game where you can shoot people in the knees. I'll wait. What if you play as Logan's daughter? She's an adult now. Oh, I'd be so bummed if she followed the same path as his fa or her father. But you know what? We could do a lot with that. That's the point. Yeah, I get it. Hey, stop the genocide already. <laughs> this guy's in this window. This actually reminds me of, uh, I think it's Siphon Filter 1. We were in like some kind of hotel or something. Going room by room, take it out, snipers. Do it like Secret Agent Cody Banks, but it's Gabe's daughter. Oh my god. Oh god! Why did they do that? They just had some guy trip and then get run over by a tank? Calm down and you'll stay that way. This C4 will take care of the APC. I can't get close enough to set it. I've got enough firepower to disable that gun. When I give the word, run out and plant the C4. Okay. Okay. 
Um, I don't have enough firepower, Mr. Logan. What are you talking about? This thing? Okay, we should probably take out these guys first. Oh, this sucks. This is so much harder to aim than the regular gun. Get this thing to stop. Move for my people. All right, I didn't do a great job of protecting my friend. Raven tank fight. There was a Chinese woman, perhaps your friend, seen at that hotel. We noticed her fleetingly. She has been circling about for days. We noticed her fleetingly. Who wrote this script? Man, I have not seen. I'm going in to find them. You risk much for this woman. Is she worth it? You risk much for your country. Is it? Oh my God, Gabe. <laughs> Godspeed, Gabriel Logan. I hope you find her. <laughs> He said, he said, Godspeed, Gabriel Logan. <laughs> we really want him over. That guy had the hard job. He was the one who ran out, had to plant explosives while Gabe Logan was up above just taking pot shots from the balcony. God, that's funny. The way he said is it was almost sarcastic, yeah. Excuse me, you're from Azerbaijan, okay? <laughs> you're asking me if my woman is worth it. Uh That is the that was the tone. The trail to Pitar and the contents of cargo hold five the trail of the trail to Pitar and the contents of Cargo Hold Five start here in Kuranka. I'm sure of it. The Spetsnaz are sure of it as well. They want it so bad they're willing to commit genocide to find it. But how do Cordell, Bitar, MI6, Kudrenko, and the Spetsnaz all tie in together? Hmm. More importantly, how does Leon? I dare you. I dare you to make this make sense, game. The answers are waiting inside Leon's room. She's never lied to me before. When she told me she was going to Cyprus to unwind, I believed her. You see, my weakness is trusting women. Anyway, agency protocol demanded security observations, but it was Leon. I trusted her. But she didn't go to Cyprus, did she? No, she came here to meet someone. To, sh to share a room with someone. Until now, I've pushed these thoughts to the back of my mind. Once I'm inside her room, I wonder if I will still be able to. Gabe Logan. <laughs> Teresa, I'm inside Leon's room. Tell her we got there as soon as we could. Someone's here, going silent. <laughs> He's gonna hide in the closet. <laughs> oh, Gabe, no! <laughs> What the 
hell? <laughs> These are good. These are very good. What the hell? Who are you working for? Where's Leon? You're not with Kadrenko, and you're not with Al Jamil. That means we're on the same side, so talk. Spesnet's patrols return every hour. Then you'd better talk. Fast. Or do you want to be hauled off to one of Kadrenko's gulags? <sighs> I'm looking for Shen. Who? There's no time. You must follow me. Then we talk. Come now, or we both die. It's too late. Take cover. The rooftop is our only way out. We must work together. <laughs> this game's wild, brother. Because you're... Reinforcements will be here soon. Let's move. You know, I love breakable pots. Hell yeah. It's not siphon filter without some breakable shit. Write that down for the remake. If you can't shoot out the lights, restart. He had hinted that he loves Leon in the last game. Celtics up four and a half. Damn. I cannot actually believe that. Heat will still win, but I, th I thought they would win the whole, would be leading the whole game. We should swap. Oop, not for that. Not for that. This one. Uh, okay. Just looking for anything cool. Yeah, what's this about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's gun ammo. No, it's not. Look at that thing. You're telling me this is ammo for the pistol? That's just wild. All right. It looks like a tank shell. Yeah, that, that thing looks huge. Okay. The armoire gave you a prompt? <laughs> Wait, no. Damn it. Teresa. We trusted a woman again, chat. Help me move this. Way worth it. We need those grenades for boss fights. Good looking out, chat. Now let's go get tricked. <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> Damn it. Teresa, the Chinese agent has escaped. 
Son, you're dead. <laughs> and she laughs at him. She runs away laughing at him. <laughs> I don't even feel bad for him at this point. Gabe's been here too many times. Shit. Okay. Good shit, Gabe. Something's beeping. There's another Gabe mine in here. There it is. Almost got me. Crawl. Here I am. You fellas looking for a handsome yank? <laughs> Good shit. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. There, now he is. I was admiring the, uh, the nice little pixel work on the mini-map in the lower left. You know what I mean? That's hand drawn, chat. That's nice. Oh, it's not that. Where do we go forward then? Perhaps this way? Yep. Stop doing that. There you go. Damn it. More guards. Gabe, use your IR goggles to protect her. We need her alive. <laughs> I like the way she's just like, what just happened? I saved your life. You're welcome. Great rolling. Yeah, the problem with this is, there we go, take ammo. You were gone. Forgive me for not believing you. No time to explain. Rooftops this way. Follow me. Cool. 
<laughs> that poor guy. Oh. Hello? Just a second, Trinidad. What do you propose? Help me move that safe. I definitely think there were cooler secrets in uh, the other PSP Siphon Filter game. Remember that vault we opened and we had to like pay attention to numbers we had seen throughout the beginning of the level? There's been nothing like that in this game. There's been a lot of uh, straight up shooting things. Salt shaker or shot glass? Shot glass. What did we do that for? Gabe, what did we do that for? Oh, to, so that we could get up there. That's funny. This way. Yeah, that's nice. That's siphon filter, baby. Because he doesn't trust her to boost anymore. That's the other reason we had to do that. If she hadn't ruined our partnership, we definitely could have, you know, co opted our way up there. God, that's so funny. So the, the thing about Gabe's only weakness being women comes from a wiki. I think it might be the Siphon Filter wiki, right? What a funny thing to write in the wiki, but then it just turns out to be true. The way. Oh. Gabe only loses to women. I go. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm crawling over. There we go. Good job, Gabe. Reinforcements will come. Follow me. What is she standing on? Suicide. A crippling in a crisu. Better, better. 
You're used to trusting women, aren't you, Logan? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Holy shit. If these walls could talk is the name of that trophy, and it was two little kissy lips. 2007 on the PSP is the release year of this video game. She's read the wiki. She knows his weakness. 15 years ago, I recruited Leon from the Chinese Secret Service. Is that canon? Or is he just being a Bronco right now? She was already out of the country at the time, so her defection was relatively clean and simple. No ties, no enemies left behind. They never came after her. I often wondered why not. Now, I'm about to find out. The woman I discovered in Leon's room is obviously a CSS agent looking for Leon. Why are half the world governments after the contents of Hold 5? The U.S., the British, the Russians, and now the CSS? Not to mention Bitar? The answer lies with Leon and her companion. I know this much. Leon's not a double agent, no matter what Cordell thinks. I may not know as much about Leon as I thought, but I know this much. She's my partner, and she's in trouble. Gabe Logan. <laughs> Gabe, are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine, but the Chinese agent, she's gone. Forget about her. Where'd she go? She's located the Spetsnaz base of operations. If they've captured Leon or Maggie, you'll find them there. Shit, we gotta get Maggie. An attack chopper. Damn it. Oh my god. Look at this game they were trying to make. They really thought they could pull this shit off. Bunch of Bruckheimers. Okay. Yeah. I like I like was something like this ever shown at an E3? They got me with an anti-Logan mine. I feel like okay, they got me again. I feel like even at this time, this kind of game's just kind of uh brushed under the rug, you know? 2007 is like about when I'm starting to watch this shit. Got me again. You know what I mean? E3 press conferences were just something I read about for a long time. Um, kick dresser. Good kick, Gabe. I don't think I was watching them until like... 2006, 2007. It did have an E3 trailer. Dang. Okay. All right. Because you know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, Call of Duty is, g is going off by 2007. We've been playing Siphon Filter games for a while, right? That it's like, you kind of forget the context of like, yeah, but like, it's already out of time. You know what I mean? Like the Xbox 360 is out. It is before Call of Duty 4. Yeah. You're right. So it's not modern warfare time yet, I guess, right?
But like, when is the Metal Gear Solid 4 trailer? Also 2007? Okay. Alright. Yeah, I guess this is just like the weird time we're in. I guess we just make games that look like this. Uh, do I go into the gassy waters? I think so. Hidden evidence. What are you up to, Cordell? I intend to find out. You haven't been straight with me. The first time I heard of E3 was in an AMV parody of Green Day's Wake Me Up When September Ends, but instead it was Wake Me Up When We're At E3. Learned Fingers, that is so funny. I would love to watch that. I told you a thousand times, tracking smugglers, that's it. No, there are bigger problems for your country than peasant crops. Thinking small lost you chaps an empire. We have already rebuilt our great nation. Try and hang on to it this time, all right? This? Coming from a Brit? Mm. Touche. They changed yeah, Maggie's voice actor. Them. This seems like a new Maggie. Watching Sony's 2007 E3 presentation, it opens with a series of trailers for PSP games, and this is the third one shown. Damn. How do people watch E3 before streaming or YouTube? Um, they would show it on TV. There was a network called G4, and they would just straight up show it on G4. And then later, um, Spike. Spike TV would show uh, E3 as well. What's crazy about it is the animation is actually kind of nice. I want to hear, I want to get to the chorus. Here we go. That's obviously the chorus. Look at this. Nope, that's this guy's fucking solo. Okay, um... With promises we know won't last. We are no longer competing in the same market as Microsoft and Sony. Ha 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 ha! Ha You have no idea. Cool gamer. You cool gamer, you have no fucking idea. You think the 360 is just going to last forever, don't you? <laughs> is the Sony one right? They were lying about the specs of the PS3? you a 
thousand times tracking smugglers. That this is a different take on Maggie. I don't like it. Problem, so your country then peasant crops. Thinking small lost you chaps an empire. We have already rebuilt our great nation. Try and hang on to it this time around. This coming from a Brit? Mm. Touche. And I don't get that joke. That joke was written by an American. On the map. We've been purging these seals for years. Why would no she say touche? Anything to intervene. Ow, bud. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 Stop. Stop it. Stop. Oh. The, that was a uh, claws and thighs, man. It is break time. Okay, we can take a break right there. Her claws right in the thighs, man. Sinking them in. So, uh, hold on. The first time you had ever heard of E3 was that five-minute music video. A FredTheMonkey.com parody, Wake Me Up When We're At E3. It was a colonialism joke, I think. Okay. What do what she's I don't get it though. This is not the Maggie we know. I don't like this dialogue. I told you a thousand times, tracking smugglers. That's it. No, there are bigger problems, so you can't Ow! Than Come on. Thinking small lost you chaps an empire. Thinking small lost you chaps an empire? This coming from a Brit? Mm, touche. That's not the Maggie I know. What is the deal with this British pride Maggie Powers? I don't know. I don't know what to think of it. Maggie, you changed. One thing, Chad, I gotta try this. We got some new treats for Mucho. Let's see if he, uh... Let's see if he likes them. Mucho, do you want to try your new treats? All right, on the other side of the break, we'll see if Mucho likes his new treats. All right, see you all soon. Wake me!
We're back. Uh, I guess the song just ended, huh? No, 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 no. Don't come up here. All right. All right, so what I have is... Pardon me, brother. Bonito Flakes. My cousin came to visit a couple of weeks ago, dropped off Bonito Flakes. They seem kind of nasty to me. But he likes the smell. Can you tell this is for you? All right, check these out. Oh, it smells like fish, dude. This smells like... This smells like fish. Do you like this? Do you like it? It is for you. <laughs> I think he does like it. You want some more? Hey, Psst. hey, mucho. You don't have to go get that little one that fell to the... I got more right here. Look. <laughs> You want you want more? I got more, dude. So it's very flaky. It's very very flaky, right? It's hard. I think it's hard for him to like bite it. You can't like chunk into it because it's so flaky. <laughs> Sometimes you sprinkle it in dry kibble food. Maybe that's what I should try. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he liked it. He definitely liked it. That was a good experiment. That was a good present from my cousin. That's human food too? No way. No, that was stinky. I would not. All right, yeah, let me see. Uh, we got a PlayStation E3 press conference from 2007. No, that was it, dude. I closed it. I closed it. Hold on, let's, let me get through this music. Oh my word. E3 2007. Stand by. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment America, Mr. Jack Tretton. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to E3. E3 is a little bit different this year, so we thought we'd handle our press conference a little bit differently. We're extremely excited to unveil all our plans for the PlayStation brand this year, but for, first, I thought I'd give you a look. Chad, it's not just me. He said, but forced first. You know what I mean? It's not just me. Chad, you, you can be... You can be at in your prime your businessman prime and still say forced look around at home our 3d community for playstation 3 many of you saw it at its public unveiling in march but we've had some tremendous improvements to it we've already had our public beta going on for several oh my months. god they were so ahead this of their time the new home square which reflects a lot of the feedback we received from the public beta. They were so ahead of their time. See, we've already got many consumers populating the square. Good morning, ladies. Looking good. Given how... Last year, you gave me advice on what to do when I get a cat. You told me to let them sniff. Yep. Your advice worked. I surprised my girlfriend with a kitten on Valentine's Day. Can I get an oh yeah for her turning six months this week? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's so sweet. Gotta let him sniff. This guy's been activated. Those treats did something else to him, dude. This guy's, this guy's wired up right now. <laughs> Jacked up on fish flakes. 
Looking good, ladies. Oh, yeah, we won't stop at 11 for Zelda clips. I don't have an hour's worth this time. Hey, bro. Hey. Uh-uh. You're never allowed on that desk. Never. The home bits are running framing device for the entire conference. Over the break, I was like thinking about like how much broadcasting those things on TV must have changed them. The press conferences, I mean. Um, like I think. You know, we don't even have like video of some of those Nintendo ones. You know what I mean? Like they just cha changed it so much the years they first started. Um, just like this is going to be on TV. This is going to be televised. And then obviously uh, that lasted. I mean, we act like they're still televised even in the digital era. I'm happy to see shit that's like more digital focused. Thank you, Nintendo. But um, we're still acting for some of these. We're still acting like this is on TV. Yeah, we can run that cutscene back. Uh, Mr. Sweeze, thanks for being a 14 mother. Maggie? You know of the device, don't you? Device? What was MI6 doing in the night of Padron? I told you a thousand times, tracking smugglers, that's it. No, there are bigger problems for your country than peasant crops. Thinking small lost you chaps an empire. We have already rebuilt our great nation. Try and hang on to it this time, all right? This? Coming from a Brit? Mm. Touche. Azerbaijan is a stain on I the I don't map. fucking get that dialogue. We've been these seals for years, and no country has done anything to intervene. And all of this means what? No one cares about this place. No cavalry is coming for you. I suppose I knew the risks when I signed up. Maggie, I'm coming. We gotta kill this man like a Bronco. Logan, two rooms. This one and a back hall. I counted three guards. Kill them first. Oh. That's how you save Maggie Powers. That's how you do it, chat. Any thoughts on Disney permanently removing the new Willow show and others because they want, don't want to pay residuals? Uh, I mean, that shit's regular. That's regular now. That's what streaming services have always been, chat. You were foolish to think otherwise. If you thought you were investing in your streaming service. If you think your Game Pass library will always be there for you. Ooh, what is that? You got another thing coming. There are no Game Pass exclusives, though. Right. You can't buy a Willow DVD. Willow is just gone. Maggie, did you see... Maggie. Maggie. Did you see this statue? It's weird, right? Maggie. Maggie. Hey, Maggie, did you see this statue? Did someone say Mr. Mayor? Yeah, chat, show me your Mr. Mayor DVDs. You're crying about Willow. You didn't give a shit about Mr. Mayor. Wait, wait, I can't watch Willow anymore. Welcome to my world. Almost over. Follow me. 
You're right, Mr. Mayor's probably on Peacock right now. <laughs> Look how cool Maggie is. She doesn't even care that this wall explodes. How long did they have you? Uh, two days, I think. It's almost over. Follow me. Logan, an attack chopper. Damn it. Kudrenko used this room as a weapon to have. Damn it. Damn it. I'm going to stand out in the open. I don't have any armor. When you think I have an open shot, let me know. And I'll fire a rocket at that bastard. Seeking cover. Yeah, do we know who Maggie's new voice actor is? I don't think it's Jennifer Hale because of the way she said seeking cover. Instead of cover. Huge difference, chat. Hale wouldn't say cover. It's not time to press select until we know that she can get a clean shot. Reloading. Oh, I died. Shit. Just checked. It is hail indeed. No way, chat. They got Jennifer Hale to take over for the lead role of Maggie Powers. That's just crazy. Oops. Well, actually, that's good. Will I be buying buying the berry box set just in case? Nah. Oh. God, he got shredded. Look at this this at this this checkpoint. I got seventy five percent health. The way his head flaps back is just like oh. Do I have to? I'm not going to stand out in the open. I don't have any armor. Fire now. <laughs> I was a bad boss. She definitely has a British accent she likes to use. To me, this is super different from her Bayonetta voice. Or even her, um... Metal Gear Solid voice. Maggie! No. Maggie, wake up. I thought that was the end of us. Nope. No, no that was a little like Bayonetta. We should leave before reinforcements arrive. Behind you. <laughs> Boot to the chest. Don't get to the chopper is the name of that trophy. <laughs> Nice flapping fabric on that cutscene. Beautiful flapping fabric. Leon. Leon, is that you? Oh my god. Leon, I've been looking for you. Oh, Gabe. I thought something happened to you. I'm so embarrassed for worried. Gabe right now. You're not Leon. Where is Shen? What have you done with her? You don't know the name Shen, do you? The only name I care about is Leon Zing. Not Lian Xing. Shen Xing. Who? Who is Shen Zing? You corrupt her. Steal her from the People's Republic. But you know nothing of her, do you? Oh, no. 
The guard will return soon. We don't have much time. Lian is her maiden name. Shen is her married name. What the hell are you talking about? When Lian defected, how long ago? Twelve years? She left behind a husband, Dr. Shen Rei. Who are you? How would you know all this? <laughs> But then I am not surprised she didn't tell you about him. Why would she? She was always, let's say, emotionally detached. Isn't she still? My code name is Trinidad. Chinese intelligence. Lian and I were partners years ago. I remained loyal to the people. She did not. You're lying. Why should I believe you? You're working with Kadrenko. Then why would I be freeing you? Shen Rei, Lian's husband, has fled China with Lian's help. We want him back. Why? It's simple. You know Lian better than I do. If I help you escape, you can help me find them. I help you, you help me. The gods are coming. This is crazy. Chat says nine, IGN gave this a 9.5. This game feels like it was written by IGN. You know what I mean? Like this is this is like IGN caliber video game. This is what they look for. This is all they wanted at the time. <laughs> IGN bait. All right, so the 2007 press conference that had this in it, actually, um, is an all-timer. Premieres Call of Duty 4, Resident Evil 5, Ration and Clank Future, Little Big Planet, Kill Zone. Kojima comes out to present Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah. They don't make them like that anymore. They don't make them like that anymore. Now, you know, you get fair games. <laughs> I think, though, you get foam stars now. Two thousand seven, that's like thirty years ago. Feels like it, yeah. Um I do are you calm down yet, dude, or you just want more? He just wants more. He's not calm yet. I should not have popped those open. He's flaked out, dude. Um, I much prefer the, the stuff we have now to, like, E3 2007. 2005 and 2006 were full of fake Sony trailers. Full of fake tro so Sony trailers? Or one of them had Killzone? What do you mean full of fake? These guys are amateurs. Every agency in the world trains their people to resist interrogation, knowing that will eventually break. I've been pumped full of every truth serum known to man and beaten for hours. If these guys knew what they were doing, they'd have figured it out by now. I don't have the information they want. Every agency in the world trains their people to resist interrogation, knowing that will eventually break. Weird. I don't know what he's saying about them. Eight days, getaway three. Okay. Yeah, those are pretty fake trailers. That's fair. Motor storm was iffy. Okay. All right, Chad, I'm listening. Hey, I'm listening. I asked for receipts and you showed me your receipts. 
Then why bother with the training? Yeah, that's what I'm so confused by. That Gundam trailer, that I don't even remember. My head's throbbing, but not because of the guards. It's Trinidad, the CSS agent. So Leon's old partner, she's offered to help me escape. Why? So I can help her capture Leon's husband, Shen Rei? <laughs> yeah, Leon's married, by the way. So I knew less about Leon than I thought. I've said before, secrets are part of this business. We all know that when we get in. I've had my share. I got a kid after all. But not like this. Not like this. Who is Leon working for? What's she got herself involved in? Gabe Logan. <laughs> It'll take more than that. Tell me about this Exe 2 bomb. Bomb? Don't play dumb! <laughs> oh wait, maybe we can succeed in this. Maybe we can succeed. Maybe this is like a Metal Gear Solid. I'll, I'll try harder. I'll try harder. It'll take more than that. Tell me about this XZ2 bomb. Bomb? Don't play dumb! There are techniques for female interrogation. We can ask Miss Powers the same questions. Leave her out of this. The Chinese male! Where is he? We can do this all night, but I won't tell you. I don't know. How do you do that? <laughs> well, shoot. Should we do this version of the level, or should we do the version where he's wearing a tank top? We won't be able to do both. The body's gone. Yeah, he was so strong, he snapped those, uh... Oh, yeah, we could have done a save state. Yeah, 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 yeah. My Gabe Logan doesn't lose to men, though. There's no way those little puny leather straps could have kept him held down. IGN gives us a 9.5. <laughs> Here's the thing. I obviously love the game. I'm obviously having a great time playing this game. But a 9.5? Have I noticed Link is, Link is relatively short compared to most adults living in Hyrule? Yeah. Got his keys. He's not a tall guy. He's not a Gabe Logan. Retrieve gear. Teresa. Teresa, come in. Teresa, Kudrenko has me at one of his gulags. I need an exit plan. Listen, Gabe, something's wrong here. Teresa, what the hell's going on? Uh, let go of me! God damn it, get off me! <laughs> God <Teresa>. damn it! <laughs> uh, Gabe, they're shutting down the agency. They're not letting me... I can't help right now. Find Maggie and get out of there as quick as you can. 
quick as you can. Teresa! <laughs> Damn it! Bubuchiachranica! <laughs> God damn it, get off of me. <laughs> now hold on. You said somebody did the math. They figured out Link's height precisely. How? What is the standard? You know what I mean? What what is the first thing you say, ah, this exists in the real in the real world. This is exactly what this would be. How can you possibly tell me exactly how tall Link is? Yeah, right. Apples doesn't do it for me, chat. There are so many types of apples. There's so many different chicken sizes. That doesn't do shit for me either. How do you get his weapons back? They were right here. They were right on this counter. For real, what was the what was the standard that this YouTuber started with? Is it really apples? What if apples are bigger or smaller in that world than the real world? They're definitely bigger. All all of the food in that world is giant, so it looks clearer when you're playing the game. This guy was just doing computer work. bobbing and weaving. There can't be that many chicken sizes? That's the craziest thing this chat has ever said. What do you mean there can't be that many chicken sizes? What do you mean by that? Where have you been farming? I want to get into this computer room. That's actually, it looks like the thing we have to do right now. Gave vision time. Okay. We're going to come in from above. No, no, no. This is nice. This is a nice thing to look at. The 52 chicken breeds. Actually, this is a very nice thing to look at. I like this. Yeah, that's actually, that's a nice... I believe that might be to scale. Like, average height of this kind of chicken. Average height of this kind of chicken. Okay, now we slowly creep in above the computer room. Okay, shoot that, drop in, drop in. Black jacket, hell yeah, we needed that so bad. Okay, now we use the computer.
Chicken theory debunked? I don't know, actually. I would say that a lot of those... All right, Maggie. Where... I, I would say a lot of those chickens look to be about the same height, actually. The bread pirate found that the steel cubes and shrines were almost exactly two meters tall. By whose standard? Like, stop there. Stop there before you go on and compare the, the cubes to Link's height. Is the bread pirate a character in the game who said these are exactly two meters tall? I don't think so. Sorry, I wanted to see what our options were here. Database, right, search, or exit. Where are you? What a funny little computer Get it is. Your hands off of me! I am an agent of the Queen's. Yeah, this is not my Maggie. I don't know what happened to her. Oh shit. Maggie, hold on. I'll be right there. Wait, how did they do that? She's standing right here. No, then she crouches. <laughs> so from a crouched position, she gets kicked in the butt, stands up, and then flops into this really small two-meter cube. And I measured it. Maggie, hold on. I'll be right there. Okay. Maggie has three minutes of oxygen inside of that. What do you call it at a morgue? What do you call that? What do you uh, what do you slide a person into at a morgue? This poor guy. He was looking for Gabe. Slab slot? All right. That's normally what I call chat. I start these streams like, what's happening, slab slots? Hey, hey, how are all my slab slots doing? That was a joke. They're not called slab slots. Okay. Okay. When I was a kid, there was this show on PBS. There was this puppeteer named Mary Shelley, and it was called Slab Slots Play Along. There she is. You're demented. You're right, chat. <laughs> You're right. I'm demented. Maggie, get up. <laughs> Saved my butt again, Logan. Once more, this get up makes no sense considering where her body was as we dragged her out. Maggie, get up. <laughs> she goes, whoop. My butt again, Logan. Hope I get to return the favor. <gasps> you can start now. <gasps> Cordell shut down the agency, and I need MI6 resources to find Leon. She's in trouble. Of course. But we'll have to escape this hellhole first. Do we know what they're called yet? It said Freezer. Freezer was the noun this game chose. Lockers. Yeah, I feel like lockers is normally what uh, a cold locker. That's what you would hear on CSI.
So it sounds like it's okay if I keep calling chat slab slots. There has to be a way to access that switch. He take the, the first lead since the first quarter. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? They were always going to win this game. Tell me what Al Horford's face looks like right now. <laughs> All right, we need Gabe Vision. There we go. Follow me. Okay. It's a dead end. Wait a second. Up there. Wait a second. You're so right, chat. It was obviously Jennifer Hale. All right. Here's the measurement prog process. The memory editor r records 4,500 units when Link glides 4,500 meters. All right, again, from step one, we've already fucked up. What are meters? Presumably memory editor used to track distance of travel in a shrine. Comparing travel distance traveled to a cube dimensions reveals approximate edge length of two meters screen grab of link next to cube to compare pixel lengths. You already lost me at step one. How do we know link glides 4,500 meters? Whoa, this is somebody actually asked. What is the name for the individual holding cells for bodies at the coroner's office? Lockers is the only term I ever heard, and that's the most popular answer. All right, lockers. Cold lockers. Cool. Good shit. One meter is three and a half, three point three feet. Thank you, chat. Forty-five hundred meters is forty-nine point two one two five nine eight four two five one nine six eight five football fields. Thank you, chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for clearing that up for me. That helps me visualize it a lot better. Here's what I'm saying to you, chat. If you're trying to figure out Link's height, that's goofy. If you're if you're trying to use any scientific method to figure out how tall Link is, you goofed. You know what's crazy is there was a different siphon filter game in a different Russian prison that had a different shower level. This is Gabe Logan's not Gabe Logan's first time in a Russian shower prison. Russian prison shower. Wikipedia says mortuary cold chambers. Did we have a big chunk? Did we have a big uh, chunk? Internet chunk there, chat? Not my first Russian prison shower. <laughs> hey, this is not my first Russian prison shower. Yeah, we did. Okay. I saw one on my end, but I didn't see anybody in chat panicking. So that was weird for me. That was a first. It was just a blip. Okay. All right. It was not chat's first Russian prison shower. You know what I mean? You've been through this before. Yeah, we see you, bro. We see you. There we go, Gabe. Oh. These guys have cool guns. We need more firepower.
Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think this might actually be the sniper rifle. Thank you, Maggie. I couldn't kill that guy. You got to get him in their chin. It's not even their face, it's not even their nose. It's like you have to get them in their chins. <laughs> elite, you say. Watch out, Maggie, these guys are elite. Give me a boost up. Now hold on. Last time I gave a woman a boost, she laughed at me. Give me your word, Maggie. I'm serious about this. There's a Gerudo NPC in Breath of the Wild that states that she is only 8 feet tall. Comparing Link with her gives you 5-8, apparently. Shit. What is she what does she say in Japan? Feels like feels like this could have been written by offhand by some treehouse goober, you know what I mean? Some treehouse goober could have just written that line non-canonically, not thinking about what that would mean for the rest of the universe to have this one eight foot tall Gerudo to compare the rest of the entire Hyrule Kingdom to. She's the constant now. Ready the dues. I'm ready to ready the dues. I'm ready to ready the dues. Can I get no ya? Yeah? After 72 hours, my cat is pooped. Meaning I don't have to take her to the emergency vet. I probably, I bet that felt so good too. Oh yeah. Congrats to your cat. In Japanese, she says she is 2.4384 meters tall. <laughs> Come on, chat. Come on now. There has to be a way out. Hey, Maggie. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> I uh appreciate that. has a weak spot you give it a good kick give it a good kick kick pipe you can't be serious <clears throat> maggie you do it Ma maggie <laughs> she just told this man to kick a pipe alone in a room Oh no, Gabe. You know it's the only way. Keep looking for another. Get in. We can take them. Logan, what are you? Ew, Gabe. God, that's gross. We can do this all night. Is the name of that trophy. Cordell managed to shut down the agency. Teresa didn't have time to give details before she was shut out. Cordell must have convinced the president that the agency is compromised. Cordell 
must think Leon's involved with Al Jamil. What's he going to think when he finds out that she's married to a Chinese defector? Someone so important that the CSS has been sent to get him back. According to Maggie, the photos of Leon and Shen were taken by accident, a routine surveillance op in Kuranka. Cordell got the photos when MI6 sent a query to DC. How can I believe her, though? For all I know, MI6 is working with Cordell, has been from the start. I should trust her, though. I've known Maggie for ten years. But then, I've trusted Leon for fifteen years. And look where that got me. Gabe Logan. <laughs> Gabe has slaughtered 3,000 men, but for some reason he'd rather oh, crawl through shit than yet. kill two still more. Certified. Certifiable? Or did you mean can I still fly a plane? It's been a while, but yes. <laughs> Let's go before the search parties arrive. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though, chat. Is that, like, that's not even a guaranteed escape. You know what I mean? Put yourself in a sewer and try to get out. Yeah, right. Last time we escaped a prison was much cooler. Celtics up 10 with five minutes left. Oh my god. What happened? You take it. Got it. I cannot believe that they've browned our clothes. Good job, Maggie. I'll be right there. Another guard ahead, near that fence. You take it. Got it. <laughs> this mission's cool. You just tell Maggie to kill everybody. Zip, zip. Boxed in. Look for a power source. Careful, Logan. Fence is live. You got a screen cap of the Gerudo Height dialogue screen cap. This is just some treehouse shit. This is not even canon. This is this is clearly just treehouse shit. They didn't think it through. You know what I mean? They didn't think this through. Give me a push up to that ledge. Confirmed treehouse shit. The Japanese line is I'm only three heads taller than him. Yep. All right, chat. I, I refuse to accept that she is eight feet tall and that she is the Give one definitive standard of height that we have for the entire Zelda universe. I won't accept it. Does any theory using meters recorded in Hyrule to work out to Link's height in our measurements need to prove that Hyrule's planet is the same height as Earth? and the same speed of light equal to ours. They need to prove that as well, yes. <laughs> Bill Trinan on his shit. He wrote that line. What was wrong with three heads taller than him? I can hear the generator over there. It's a light complication, Logan. I can't reach the generator with these bastards firing at me. Oh my god. You get the generator offline. They changed Maggie's character so much in this game. She changed the entire tone of the Siphon Filter universe. That's just wild.
she was like, it's a silly spy game, right? And they're like, ah, no, it's for, it's pretty serious. To, to us, it's pretty serious. She read the script. It's like, oh, no, it's a silly spy game. I got it. <laughs> oh, I see. No, this stuff is very funny. Oh, um, what parts? It's not meant to be funny. Oh, uh, uh never mind. Let, let me just, oh, shit, I'm out of ammo. I have protected Maggie Powers. Come on down. There's a route up here. Should we split up? Affirmative. I'll head through the forest. They're just covered in shit. That's so weird. Call if you run into trouble. <laughs> cool level, dude. Check this shit out. Nice. Hey, Bology. Doing great tonight. So if a definitive height was mentioned in the original Japanese release, would that be acceptable? Yes. They would not so carelessly to toss out something like saying that she is eight feet tall. What a foolish error to make. Shit. My main concern here is, well, I do have Gabe vision. Sure. I was concerned the bad guys could see better than I could, right? Damn, and they definitely can. Shit. Okay, so Heat are only down by four now with uh, four minutes left to play. Sorry, they're down by eight with four minutes left to play. This is doable, chat. This is doable. Tighten up. Just got to tighten up. So many guys. Hmm. I wonder if they will constantly spawn. It might be that kind of scenario. We've been having a few waves here. Another wave coming? No, we're good. Good shit, Gabe. You gotta kick through the pipe to crawl through. Hell yeah. You can do this, Heat. Kick through the pipe. Through the pipe. Very nice. We needed that so bad. No.
Hello? What is the zip line for? Well, it's, it's a steep fall. Can we as a society now admit that Chris Pratt was perfectly acceptable in the world and as the voice of Mario? Nah. Can't do it. There are, I'm going to say, this is just an estimate, 200 working actors who would have been an improvement. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Shredded my armor, dude. Don't you do that. Oh my god, another one. <laughs> every, every one of these guys thinks he's going to be the one. <laughs> Alright, are you going to be the one? <laughs> are you going to be the one? Shit, that guy was almost the one. Celtics up four with 90 seconds left. He crawling back in. Crawl, baby. Crawl in there. Kicking that pipe. Man, a lot of them really like that weird skinny gun. Weird skinny gun, he says. This clown has no idea. The destructive force of that weapon. Do I destroy it? Is it taking damage? Yep, now it is. I don't know if that was the thing I was supposed to do right there. Looks like it to me, dude. But it's like still just, it's just smoking. Somebody called a mask. There we go. Had to take out the shotgun chat. Good shit, Maggie. There. Looks like we've got the upper hand now. Perfect timing. Give me a sit rep. What can you see from up there? Heavy patrols. But with me providing cover fire, should be a walk in the park. I love that these two are acting so cool while their faces are just dried with caked over sewer pipe shit. One oh one one hundred. Oh my god. Move now. Moving out. Oh my god. This sucks. Boston wins these. You know what I mean? 
Boston does not lose these close games. The only time Boston loses, it's absolute embarrassing shut shutouts, you know? Got your cheek. Go. They're gonna they're gonna come zip lining in. Yep. Oh, here they come, Gabe. Get ready, bro. Shit. Oh shit. I'm sorry, Gabe. I fucked this up. Fuck this up, Gabe. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Oh, Gabe. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He pressed the button on his walkie-talkie to grunt at me. Some help down here. Easy, Gabe. Move now. Right. Taking cover. Damn. Fuck. Man, that's some helmet. That's some helmet you got there, Buster. Uh, they just have helmets on, Gabe. I can't explain it. Fuck. I like how that one spun to us. He decided I'm. He assessed the risk, right? He assessed the threat. He's like, nah, I'm good. I'll keep trying to shoot Gabe Logan. Yeah. Maggie Powers is not a threat. <laughs> Jimmy Butler is going to the line. They actually, um. Fuck. I'm out of ammo, game, because you're the. You need to take too many headshots to kill these guys. He actually got fouled, and now he has to hit his two penalty shots or else they lose. Oh my god. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. That's the last one. Logan, good news. The airport. Oh, he's shooting three. He got fouled from a three-point line. I can see that. Fuck that, dude. Don't Fuck worry. that. I can't handle that stress. I can't even, like, just hearing it from chat, I can't handle that stress. Splendid idea. How Fuck that. Armor has just rolled in. I'll be down in a jiff. Roger that. <laughs> I can't handle that. He made the first one. Oh, my God. Maggie, can you flank the turret? Okay. All right. He made the first one. It ends it ends the series if uh Jimmy wins. If Boston wins, it goes to game seven. He made two, okay. Game's tied at least. Game's tied at least. Oh my god. Maggie has not said chuffed yet, no. It's a slick rewind interface. Glances. I actually love this. I wish I wish more games had made it so easy to rewind. Okay, sounds like 
Sounds like he hit three. Celtics with two seconds left. Three seconds left. Celtics have three seconds to get one basket. If they get that basket, they win. We go to game seven. All right. There's obviously going to be a TV break for that, though. They obviously went to commercial there. A clutch free throws. I could chat. That's the power I don't have. When I tell you I have no clutch factor, it means that if you told me, Kyle, if you hit these three baskets, we'll win, there's no chance it'll happen. Good shit, Gabe. We're going to need something else to distort, destroy that turret, though, I think. Yeah, it's not working. All right, we got to advance. Get down. <laughs> this is cheap shit. Like, Gabe can just, like, sense where they are without exposing his head. I mean, I guess that's most third-person games. Oh, he can even blind fire. That's sweet. Shit, shit, shit. Smart missed. Derek White with a tip in. Celtics win. Damn. Damn. There's a uh, there's not much you can do about that. You can't you like you can't train for that shit. Somebody makes a bad shot, right? The ball just goes in a crazy spot. Shit. Celtics win. Game seven. Damn. Damn. That's rough. That's rough. Game seven going to Boston. Is this rewind filter be, be, built into the game? Uh, PS5. On PS5, you got this. The PS5 emulator. It's killing its own dudes. These dudes are just creeping into the line of fire of their own dumb tank. Actually, I bet the shotgun would be doing more damage to it. Nope. With chat. With three fucking seconds. Marcus Smart takes a dumb shot, but, you know, White was just there for it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Hey, I understand it. I understand why it happens. Life is full of moments like these. We just all have to live with them. That has to kill the Heat. They, their chances of winning Game 7 are going to be so low. Now's your chance to move up. My chance to move up? What are you talking about? My chance to move up. It's too much armor. What do you intend for me to do right now, game?
Run, Gabe. Oh, Gabe, run. Gabe, run. Gabe, run. Hell yeah. Do I ever miss doing the final bossman? Generally, I like doing delayed input more than final bossman. Logan, over here. I could see the airfield from up there, and our right out just landed. He smashed that thing into the snow. Then we'll be real clever heisting that plane. Who's covering who? Name of that trophy. Can you imagine being the first team ever to lose to lose with a 3-0 lead? Uh Yeah, I can imagine that. I know what that would be like, yes. You're betting all your marbles for the heat for game seven. I like that. The Yankees did to the Red Sox in baseball once. Wasn't the finals, but yeah. Yeah, it sucked. And that was 3-1. You're right. Actually, I think that was 3-0. I feel like that was 3-0, chat. Will this comeback be bigger than the Warriors lost a 3-1 lead meme? No. Um... Chat confirms the Red Sox was 3-0, yep, um, in 2004. No, here's what all the the Boston Red, sorry, the Boston uh, Celtics fans are forgetting repeatedly. They've been a massive favorite this entire time. The Heat are an eight seed. <laughs> So no, it won't be some mind-blowing miracle if if Boston comes back to win this. You know what I mean? They've been the statistical favorite every single game of the series. <laughs> no, it wouldn't come close to the uh, Lakers coming back from 3-1. It wouldn't. No, it would not be that. Yeah, the Celtics themselves being the number two seed. Lakers, sorry, I'm chat. I meant I definitely did not mean the Lakers. When I think of LeBron, it worked. I think of the Lakers now. No, 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 no. I meant the Cavaliers. I meant the Cavaliers. I, I didn't mean Lakers. I didn't mean that at all. I meant the Cavaliers came back from 3-1. How great would it be if they come back from 3-0 just to be swept by the Nuggets in the finals? Nobody gets swept by the Nuggets. That's not happening. That's not happening. There was no sign of Trinidad anywhere in the prison complex, forest, or airfield. Yet I always have the feeling I am being watched, followed, shadowed. Ooh, this was a thing. In the uh, personal entries that Gabe wrote in the last game, he started to kind of unravel and lose his mind the further we got in. Yeah, the Lakers just got swept by the Nuggets. What's a more interesting finals to you? Nuggets versus Celtics or the Heat? I think both of them are very interesting. It's It sucks when there's a sweep, honestly. It, it, like, it like sucks to think that the Nuggets haven't been challenged yet, you know? <laughs> so uh, I hope they don't sweep either of those teams in the, in the finals. She's still out there. I can feel it. I've been in the business long enough, the business he keeps calling it, to trust a gut feeling when I get one. Trinidad's a professional, but this seems personal. 
She's not going to get Shen. She's not going to let Shen, Leon's husband, go, no matter the cost. Trinidad's going to try to use me to find him. Now I know where to look. It's obvious that Leon and Shen were taken in Kurunka, but not by the CSS, or Trinidad would have them. Not by the Spetsnaz, either. Kudrenko is also still looking. And not by the British or Cordell. That leaves... Bitar. If I can find Al-Jamil, I'll find Leon. Gabe Logan. Maggie, have you infiltrated the cockpit yet? Agent Powers, report. Agent Powers, report. Maggie? Maggie. This is your captain speaking. Any problems? Nothing I couldn't handle, but it appears the plane's transponder's been removed. We need it installed and NATO command will shoot. She changes the whole tone of this game, man. I'm on it. Actually we could we could uh No we can't. Out of bullets. Okay. Where are you going, bro? Where are you go, bro? Where are you going? You do not like sweeps because the Cowboys are always sweeping the Giants. There are no sweeps in the NFL. It's all always one game. Stop that nonsense. Chat, am I on, am I on a plane? Yep. Why? That feels crazy to me. Maggie, I thought you could fly this thing. Entering a major storm system. Get used to it. I remember now. I remember now. He did ask Maggie if she could fly a plane. We just didn't get to see the plane. The Sony showcase bummed me out, depressed me so much. I came and watched your video on it. Just the title of it bummed me out. CGI trailers of basically nothing is no way to debut a game. Not in the year 2023. Oh, more mask men. Yeah, I guess I just got to shoot their bellies, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for the crotch shots if they got a helmet on. Suki, dude. Agent Powers, I found some classified intel. Yeah, I just chat. Yeah, I want to make it clear that I don't think those games are doomed. It was just a super bad showing. Well, Concord might be cool. I think there's a 4% chance. that uh, Fair Games turns out cool. Cool. Let's hang it out on the plane. Define cool. Damn it. Maggie, what's wrong? Uh, I think there's a 4% chance that Fair Games turns out to be a video game that I enjoy. Uh, 
One minute to breach. Tight timeline. Shit, reloading. Okay. Oh. Just in time, Logan. I'm okay up here. Go out to Kudrenko and get the transponder. Good shit, Maggie. Check out that cool radar. Fun environments in this game. Yeah, Chad, this is a this is a serious question. Was this a photograph or did somebody create this asset and then just uh compressed it into oblivion? So I can't tell the difference. Do I think fair games in Concord pass the bungee test? Yeah. I'm guessing that's what happened. I've located a floor hatch, but it's locked. Can you override? I wish I could help. You'll have to pry it open. With my fingers. She. <laughs> This fucking writer just wrote, SHIT! Right here, chat. Maggie, cargo's moving all over the place. Have to bear with it. It's good. Yeah, we talked about factions a bit yesterday. I'm not upset about it. You know what I mean? It seems it seems like something that nobody's I okay, I definitely thought we'd be seeing it this week. I just thought that Naughty Dog would just make, you know, pump that out and it would be a really popular game this year. Shit, they're melting me. But like I'm not surprised that they're struggling to make a game as a service. Not just a multiplayer game. It's got to be a game as a service. It's got to have a business plan. You have to you have to develop the game with a business plan. A multi-year structure. It can't just be fun. Yeah, I see your fucking knee. All right, fine. Good crawling, Gabe. Good crawling. Good crawling. Oh, hey there. God, that one shot he got off, though. Damn. The player base can only handle a finite number of gases at a time. I think that's true, but you know, the same as like they can only handle so many RPGs at a time or so many uh, sports games at a time. I think you have to design your game as a service to not require somebody to play it for three hours every day. There are going to be people. There will be people who do that, so you have to come up with systems to reward your most hardcore okay. players. Kudrenko. We've got control of the plane. Surrender now, or I'll have to kill you. <laughs> Surrender. 
for you. The Hague is beautiful this time of year. So is hell. I killed He's got black suit Spider-Man voice going on right now. Ooh, we don't have any of our grenades. Damn. Escape from your prison. I thought Spencer was supposed to be tough. I fucking love these boss fights, dude. I fucking love them. I fucking love them. This is how we do. <laughs> Agent Powers, you and Commander Logan have already been cleared. Sending approach vector. Okay, they knew it was us. Cordell. Cordell. What the hell's going on, Cordell? Where are you taking her? Don't worry about powers. You should be worrying about Leon Zing. Did you find her? No, but she's in hiding with her husband. So the Chinese haven't gotten Shen back yet. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you knew from the start. You made me your bird dog. It's about all you're good for. Look over there, Logan. Last night, someone blew up half the desert. Iraq's largest oil field. 20 square miles gone. Batar. Shen's prototype. You're damn right, Batar. And guess who's helping him? Your Shh, friend gets around. Shit. Doesn't she? Seems Batar was the highest bidder. The president's pulling the plug, Logan. Agency's gone. You are officially retired. We're done here. Get him on a transport. You're making a mistake, Cordell. If Batar has Shen, he's building another device. You need me. Go home, Logan. Oh. Track down that blonde you knocked up. Hargrove, or whatever her name is. Find your kid, get married, and get over it. Because you're in the private sector now, you arrogant son of a bitch. Thanks, Teresa. Shit. We're not safe anywhere, man. Hi, Chief. Mm. Don't worry. Place is bug free. Majari swept it. Uh, yesterday. The thing is, I can't blame Cordell. Hey, you don't believe all that crap, do you? I don't know anymore. Leon's no traitor, but if she needed my help, she'd have asked for it. You gotta be kidding me. She didn't ask because she couldn't. What do you mean? Leon's in love with you. Anyone who's ever seen you guys together can tell. <laughs> but apparently, super spy Gabriel Logan missed that particular clue. But she's married <laughs> to Shen, the husband she left behind in China when she defected. How is she going to ask you for help? I don't know what's going on, <laughs> or how they ended up with Batar. But I can tell you one thing. Leon needs your help. At this point, it doesn't matter. The agency's gone. But not dead. You taught me this a long time ago. Have a backup plan. Before Cordell shut us down, we backed up everything here. Since then, I've done some hacking. Here's the photo Cordell threw in your face. And here's what he didn't show you. Leon's being held. They've located Aljamil and are preparing an all-out assault. Gabe, by the time they're done, nothing will be left of Bitar's base. That's why Cordell wanted me out of the way. 
Leon's right in the middle of it. What are you gonna do? I'm going in after Leon. I've got to find her before Cordell wipes that face off the map. <laughs> Teresa, how long before they start dropping bunker busters? The airstrike's not scheduled this for is a wild, hours. brother. Damn it. What's wrong? I think Cordell's moved up his timetable. This is just wild. Good news. Leon's husband, who we hate, obviously, is a bad guy. Yeah, I feel like the, the beginning of episode five is a good place to end for the night. If we're going to switch to Zelda clips. How many chapters, how many episodes are in this game? Six. Okay. Yeah, I guess, I guess we end it there. Cause we're not going to, we're not going to, we're definitely not going to finish this game tonight. Damn. This game has been some good shit. There's a bonus mission for this game that shows how the levels are made with dev commentary. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we got to see that too. That's actually really cool. All right. So maybe uh god, do you think we could do you think we could do a double double on Monday? Do you think we could do Gollum and Gabe Logan on one Monday? That'd be sweet. The G and G. The Gollum and Gabe tag team event. Yeah. It depends on how much time is left in Gollum, but I, I think I wonder if we could do it, chat. The G and G Monday. Yeah, we're like halfway through Gollum is the problem. That it took me eight hours to get halfway through Gollum. But uh I wonder. Maybe we could pull it off. John Wick Chapter 5, Gablem. <laughs> yeah, because, like, we haven't seen Logan's shadow yet. We haven't seen it yet. We're this deep into the story, and I'm not quite sure what Logan's shadow is. I think it's... Because he didn't bring Leon into his light. I think I think because he wasn't open to Leon about his feelings, it created this whole series of events. If he had just allowed himself to love Leon, uh, none of this would have happened. Gal Logan is our, is what okay Gal Logan Gal Logan Monday I won't I won't even put Gabe Logan on the schedule just in case uh, Gollum does go long like Gollum is locked in for Monday but hopefully we got some time for Gabe because next Friday is gonna be Star Wars excuse me Street Fighter and then uh, well shit next Saturday we can go wild right there's nothing crazy we got to do next Saturday. Honestly, though, I'll probably want to do more Street Fighter. So I bet it'll be a Friday, Saturday back-to-back -back for Street Fighter. Yeah. I like doing the back-to-backs. We got Marvel's Midnight Suns to finish as well. Yeah. Batboy got bumped. Yeah. Honestly, Batboy looks to me like it'll be insanely hard. I think Batboy would be really fun for me to play on my own on Switch. I feel like it'd be like a pretty intense swearing stream uh, for content. You know what I mean? Online Street Fighter matches? Strictly my created character going on her journey across the world to become the strongest fighter a hag has ever been. 
there will there will not be online matches unless i'm feeling extremely confident for some reason batboy is a really cool uh 2d platformer it looks kind of like a uh, shovel knight style we can go full cam uh really good trailers really good screenshots i just dig the style of it entirely but you know like sometimes i'm just kind of shit at that kind of game you know what about cpu versus cpu betting matches maybe a couple i'm not entertained by that too much you know what i mean i gotta be into it and i don't really care to watch cpu fight itself too much and you do not have to recreate the character no that was a really cool part about that uh demo is it locks in we, we will have to replay that portion of the game again but it will save the character we created. It was the whole reason why I wanted to do it. Can I get an own no for destroying my big toenail on the back of my chair just now? Yeah. Yeah, that's a no no. No, no. no chat lobbies? Maybe chat lobby. Maybe you can talk me into it. But generally, no. I just want to watch my created character go on a journey. Does it let you make multiple custom characters? I actually doubt it. I bet you're locked to one. Tono. God, and during G&G &G Monday, there's going to be another Heat Celtics game. We can't escape it, chat. <laughs> we got another one of those coming up. Yeah, so I think that's what next week looks like. I definitely got to see the end of this game. I definitely got to see the end of Marvel's Midnight Suns. But when a new Street Fighter game comes out, I mean, come on. So it'll depend. It'll depend on how much we have Gollum we get through. Because really, I, I could see um, a Gabe Logan slash Midnight Suns Saturday being really fun too. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we do on Monday. Can I get an Oya for finally getting my hands on a Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition? Sure. Oh yeah. Does that come with an amiibo? Probably not cheap. SGDQ schedule, that starts tomorrow. Hell yeah. Uh, so chat, the reason why we're wrapping up all of these things uh, before midnight is that we're about to switch to the portion of the stream where I show clips of my playthrough through Tears of the Kingdom which will be this week highly spoilery there's a high chance you'll see some shit you didn't want to see um so yeah you know that we just give fair warning ahead of time no problem with ducking out at this point um i will change the stream title hell yeah um but yeah thanks so much for hanging out for this saturday this is super fun please look upon the successful pooper cat before you duck out Oh my gosh. This is a cat. This is an image of a cat who hasn't pooped for three days. <laughs> and who also looks like you're, 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 you're taking a photo right now. You're going to, you're going to fucking, you're going to take your phone out and take a photo of me right now. <laughs> Can I vaguely say what the spoilers are? Um, no, I should not. Nope. No, I should not. I'll say I've I've seen a bunch of like cutscenes. I've seen story shit at this point. Last time I had I had not seen any story shit, no cutscenes. But now I've seen a lot of story shit. How many people have you told? Yeah, that's what that cat's saying. <laughs> you told chat. <laughs> you told chat. What? All right. You went ahead. And you, you just told. You blurted it out to everyone. You let them know. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, cool. So let me go grab my Switch. Fair warning to anybody who uh, was uh, dodging spoilers. Now's the time. Uh, and then, uh, 
yeah, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back Monday with Gollum. Friday with Street Fighter, and Saturday we'll figure out as we go. Cool shit. Thanks everybody, and uh, I'll be right back to everybody else. See you soon. Yeah, I know you're not having trouble pooping. We're back. What am I switching right there? Uh -huh. Easy. Will I watch the game six highlights? No, no, no. Honestly, not even highlights don't do much for me. On like the NBA subreddit, I can definitely like watch like a couple of clips, right? Um, I guess we can go full cam here. But um. No, like watching watching a bunch of highlights of to telling a story of the game that I've already know the result of doesn't do much for me. If I know what's already happened, sports is like the most boring thing. Switch plugged in. There you go, brother. When are you getting that bookcase in order? God. Maybe this week. I'm uh I'm very much looking forward to having this week to get some shit together in my life, you know? Uh this is going to be a non-delayed input week. Delayed input is on break chat. And so I'm I'm fucking gonna chill. <laughs> All right, where were we last? What was the last thing we saw me do in Tears of the Kingdom? What was the last thing? That's new shit. That's new shit. That's new shit. All right. I think that's it right there. Stream title will be uh, Late Night Zelda Clips. T-O-T-K. T-O-T-K. Clips. Do people capital? I guess you, I guess you capitalize each letter. There we go. I know it doesn't look right. T cat lowercase o lowercase t k. It looks that looks messed up to me. I'm capitalizing every letter. L o t r is every letter. You know what I mean? People, if it's Lord of the Rings, people capitalize every letter. You just got to. You have to. All right. Uh, spoilers are now active. Here we go. Andy Cortez just went live with Zelda. Only one boss in. Sure, yeah, we can raid them. We can definitely raid Andy. I feel like he raided us the, earlier this week even. All right, um, this is pretty close to where we left off. My gear seems about the same. Um, I am filling in the underground for some reason. Not sure why, but uh, you know that I love the underground. As you can see in front of you, there's a seed to go light up. Uh, we're flying to it. I have an idea of why I'm here right now, but we'll 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 maybe get deeper into that in a second. Oops. Hide that. This is what you didn't play. Yeah, just filling in like there's a weird space in the middle of my map there. So I'm like, what what why is this here? 
Have I not lit this yet? What's going on? We're approaching. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Fuck you, game. God, that shit makes me so mad. Cause you know what? I, like I've been gliding for a long time. I've been obviously I've been gliding for a long time, and that ground just comes out of nowhere. I'm triple checking to make sure like it looks like it's safe to to uh, drop here. Oh my god. I guess that's kind of my fault. Okay, this this shit's awesome. Ah, uh, sorry. Right now, I'm in one of those huge cubes. I've been ignoring the cube mazes. Um, This is the first cube maze, and I'm like, man, let me just check this out. Let me just see this. I actually loved it. I want to go back and do more cube mazes. They were so stupid in the first game. Um, This shit's actually really cool. So my pathway down is blocked currently. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> that's why I saved that. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's good shit. They didn't get me. They didn't get me. Alright, so we're we're still uh shit, sorry. We're still uh we're in the center of the cube. This is the final challenge of the cube. What's cool about the cube is there's a cube on each tier, right? There's a cube in the sky, cube on the land, and then cube underground. And uh, we're in the middle of the underground. We're in the last chunk of the cube. This fucking boss will uh, one-shot you down to a quarter of a heart and then one-shot you if you're not full health. You know what I mean? This fucking boss sucks. And I'm in the dark. I haven't lit this place up yet. However, as we tend to do, and as the game is comfortable with, E super easy to cheese this boss. Look at this fucking idiot. You can't touch me, bro. Oh, that was cheap, though. Yeah, yeah. Careful, Kyle. Very careful. Be safe here. Perfect. Bingo. Fuck you. That's a good kill. That's a good kill. Yeah, we got the full miner set. Um, this looks like an accidental screenshot. <laughs> but it's still nice. That's still nice. It's so easy to fight normally, though. This does crazy damage. It's in the dark. One, it was in the dark in the middle there, and it does just insane damage. It's not worth fighting normally. It was construct level three. That thing was just, it had a huge HP meter and really, really crazy damage. Oh, this shit I thought was cool. So I'm just using the bird thing, which, you know, don't, normally wouldn't do for that. But this game is so consistent, right? That you can use the bird thing. The little bit of lip on the bottom of the bird thing can be used as a bridge for water. I just love that how much this game plays by its own rules. It has so much consistency to it. Otherwise, like, yeah, how do you even get that crystal? What do you even do? There's no logs down here in this cave. Just love that shit. Love that shit. Um, I got a cool bird mask. But really, uh, there's a couple of things that are funny about this screenshot to me. Um, like, this game's got so much made-up lore. You know what I mean? There's so much shit that just, like, happened between the last game and this one. She says, you might not think it by the look of me these days, but I used to be a pro shield surfer. Kind of well-known, too. Yeah, fucking right. Yeah, you're just gonna make up that lore? Nobody was a pro shield surfer in this entire universe. I don't believe it. And she's like, I used to be, right? So that suggests that pro shield surfers have been a thing for a while now, and she's already next to retired. But also, we did this in the Pokemon game. We had a pro surfer. We, like, a retired pro surfer is just like a, a thing we do now. All right. 
Sure. You knew sell me for six years. Okay, chat. All right. Anyway, uh, I can't do any of the cool shit that she wants to teach us until I deal with the blizzard, which is story stuff. So I said goodbye. I said I'm not dealing with that right now. God, I just love this shit. I just love this shit, man. This this was this is what makes this game so fucking cool. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Oh my god. And you know what's so cool about this game? If you don't even if you never see that, the the game does not care. JoJo's Denko, thanks for being a 35 monther. Loving my time with Tears of the Kingdom. Only thing I do more than fix hail cars and walk my dogs. Better than Breath of the Wild? I'm gonna say no. Like, uh this shit's cooler than anything you do in Breath of the Wild. Yes, but Breath of the Wild was so new. I feel like it deserves a ton of credit for that. This is a retread. This is a retread. The best retread I've ever played in my life. But uh, I feel like Breath of the Wild deserves a ton of credit for how much it spearheaded a, a brand new direction of uh, what a Zelda game could be. Uh, I don't think I made any clips of it, but this is just a giant puzzle room in there. The only thing to do in there is solve another puzzle and get a shrine. Really cool. Love this shit. All right, huge spoilers. Huge spoilers. Huge spoilers right here. But I fucking, I love how dynamic this game is. I, f I love how dynamic this game is in that this wasn't like a go and do this thing right now, go do this right now. Um, This was like, I saw this dragon flying. I'm going to try to go up to it. What is, hold on, what is in this dragon's forehead? And I'm like, holy shit. Good thing I invested in stamina. Holy shit, good thing I invested in stamina. Come on. Come on. And then we stop there. We do stop there. Chat. The rest of that shit. The rest of that shit is insane spoilers. The rest of what happens after that, insane spoilers. But uh, I did get the Master Sword. I did not clip the rest of that shit. I've seen all the glyph memories. I've seen them all. That was the first thing I do after we talked chat, after we talked last time, that was the first thing I did. My goal was to see all the glyph memories. Oh, shit. This clip sucks. This is why the 30 seconds is not enough. Damn. All right. So this was, um, this was, um, uh, one of those little Koroks who's like, Hey, can you help me get to my friend? And I'm like, yeah, I'll help you. And so like, I got it on this cart that got away from me and I like couldn't keep up. And then it just like shot off this mountain. As you can see, like right at the top of your screen, top middle is where I have to take it. And then I just lost them. I just lost them. But obviously like the funniest part of this clip is gone. This is just me looking like, where did that guy, where'd he go? Where'd he go? What's crazy is it turns out he's actually like in the upper right hand corner of your screen. He's actually super close. I found him. I found him. Oops, sorry. This is cool shit because uh, if you find like a little sewer cave that Zelda hangs out in, um, she's like, yeah, I made Link a new shirt and it's hanging out in the throne room. 
And then that shows up as a side quest. And I'm like, I should just do that. I should go look at the new shirt. She says the key is the, uh, the torches. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's the same fucking shirt. It's the same fucking shirt with a little bit of extra leather. <laughs> the Hatsuno Zelda well. Yep, yep, yep. Now with leather. Yeah. The thing is, though, with five defense, it's the best chest I have. It's the best shirt I have. So anytime I got a fight, I throw this thing on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe this game's physics. That's what this clip is. I'm not even doing anything creative here, right? I'm doing the intended solution of whatever this tiny puzzle is. But this is just deep admiration for all this shit working. Watch this. Watch this shit. Oh my god. How are you not breaking? Ooh. That's me. That's me pausing to make a clip. That's me like, I gotta make a clip of this. I can't believe how well this shit works, dude. I can't believe it. Everyone's talking about this puzzle on Twitter. That's funny. I I mean, that scene, that sight alone, just seeing that, I got to watch it one more time. And like, like this thing, I didn't even, pr I didn't make any of this, right? Like this thing unraveling, it's unraveling as designs as they've tested a hundred times, but like, it's a feat, brother. This is a feat. Oh, this gear, I like this gear a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the current costume I'm wearing right now, oh my God, look at that fucking bridge. This uh, improves how much you can move midair and it does help you get a little further too. So anytime I gotta glide to a certain spot or onto a dragon's nose, I'll uh, I'll put this on. It's cool, and I like how when you it like it kind of acts as like a squirrel suit. When you put your arms out, it like puts wings in between. What is attached to your sword? So that's um. Shit, did I go? That's the master sword. If you attach any items to the master sword, they just become this weird glowing green thing. Currently, that was just a spike slab. Oh my god. Oh my god, I fucking love the underground. Enhance that outfit. The true power is incredible. Good to know. Good to know. Maybe I'll prioritize that next then. Because obviously every single fairy I go to is like, look, until you know how to make music, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, okay, all right, all right. So yeah, I've not been able to enhance any of my costumes yet. Um, Look at this screenshot, dude. You show me this screenshot? It's a game I can't wait to play. This is the underground. And I just fucking walked up to this tree. Oh my god. Um, it took me, I will say, a long time to... Uh, um, except that there was no way for me to get into the Lost Woods. Unless I go underground. I kept trying. I kept trying and trying and like, what am I missing? I did the torch thing where it's like, didn't you used to like follow the flames of the torch to get into here? And so eventually I'm like, oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Let me just go underground. I bet if I go underground and come up, that'll do it. And so I finally just decided to do that. And then I find this beneath the lost woods. So cool. So cool. I love that screenshot. What's crazy, though, is these things are, like, regular in the Lost Woods. However, walking up to this thing in absolute darkness leaves a great, much greater impact. But, yeah, you can find these guys on the surface, too. 
God, this is it's, this is me solving another puzzle the exact way you're supposed to solve it. But I just fucking love how this game works sometimes, man. Ooh. 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 <laughs> My god, bro. My god. Mid the helmet? Yeah, this is my best defense. Uh, yeah, exactly. I won't take the mid the helmet off because it's like four defensive points higher than my next helmet, you know? And it looks kind of cool. I can't remember how I got it, chat. Where'd I get this thing? I think it was for one of the Colosseums. I think I got that helmet doing one of the Colosseums in the underground. That's my best guess. shit holy shit look at this shit oh my god oh my god so as you can see i got my my helmet on because it's got crazy defense on but uh i'm wearing my anti-gloom gear because look at this shit uh, uh, yes get in there get in there ignore the gloom ignore the gloom you're all right yes Holy shit. That fucking fight. Dude. This fucking fight. And the Minda Helmet is also anti-gloom. Yep, 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 yep. You're right, because we have three hearts. What you can't see. What you can't see is right up here, dude. This shit. Yep. So, Phantom Ganon was such a cool surprise fight. Such a cool surprise fight. So nasty. Janice, you don't have to make that much progress in the depths, I feel like. I, I, I definitely feel like there's going to be parts where it's like, hey, you have to go do this. Based off of what I've seen in the depths, you have to go do this thing right now. But I don't think you have to worry too much. Flux 3 weapon, yeah. Um, the Master Sword is on cooldown at this point. So this fight starts with a bunch of the fucking hands. So I think, oh, okay, if I kill eight hands... Um, I'll be good. He shows up when you kill hand clusters. Oh, wow. No. Anytime I've found hand clusters, I either run away or they kill me. So he just shows up anywhere on the, on the surface too, huh? That's, a, that's crazy. That's really crazy. Yeah. So all of this is on the bottom of the Deku tree. He's like, hey, there's something there. Oh, I don't feel there's something in my tummy. <laughs> he appears anytime you kill them and has really good dro drops, really good weapons. He's fucking hard to kill, though. This guy's hard to kill. I think he does a good job telegraphing whether he's going to do a vertical slice or horizontal slice. I'll give him that. Right? Horizontal slice. Great. A little too far away, Kyle. Horizontal slice. I thought that was good timing. Horizontal slice. Flurry rush for the kill. And you're right. That weapon I got from that cheap boss uh, in that cube. The, the attachment to that weapon, at least. They're much easier on the surface because of Gloom? What does that mean? Master Sword has bonus damage. It was cooling off right now. I couldn't use it. That's what sucked. I wasted the Master Sword on the hands. Oh, lack of gloom. Got you, got you. Lack of gloom. Yeah. It was a nasty fight, man. Very nasty fight. Happy to win that one. Level 6. Thanks for being a brand new subscriber. I feel like once again, I didn't quite get the best part of the clip in the clip. That's why I clipped that. I finally got a Zelda bug. Yeah. So because I dropped the heart of uh of the uh I forget what they're called. The stone the stone bosses I hate so much. 
you know, they got a thing on their back. Taluses. I could chat. I could not figure out what you do with a talus heart. I have no idea. I can't figure it out. So I dragged it all the way back here, and for some reason, Zuki like moved position because of where I dropped that heart. Yeah. You fuse it to a weapon. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Damn. Or you could put it on a shield. Why didn't I think? That's so dumb. I didn't think about that. I mean, you know, this whole game is about fusing. Oh my gosh. Check this shit out. Uh, this whole this whole thing is about vehicles. As you can see, I'm naked because sometimes you go into a, a challenge room and they make you naked. And they're like, here, you got to figure out this concept. And this one's like, all right, time to learn how to use a vehicle. And so you you uh, have to work a little bit. You got to make a glider to even get into this secret room, which has the best possible vehicle shit in here. And I just loaded up this, this vehicle with all the weapons they had. Hell yeah. This feels great. <laughs> one left, one left. Froze him, burned him a little. Oh. <laughs> Fuck this game. Fuck this game. You feel on top of the world. You feel invincible. War is hell. <laughs> Those heads are targeting heads, if you didn't know, and left behind. No, I don't know what you mean. Those heads are targeting heads? They auto-aim the stuff you left in the room. Oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't know what they do. You're talking about these like chalice-shaped things. So I would basically, I, what you should do is glue it to your thing and then glue the weapon on top of the chalice, basically. No, I didn't know what those do. That's cool. I love, I, I love the game for that, by the way. It's like, you, you know, obviously I did a lot of shit underground first. And so there was a ton of new uh you know accessories like these and i had no idea what what their function even is so i just left them alone um so it is cool being on the surface and going through these puzzle rooms that explicitly teach you what they do and i love that the game didn't care that i was confused the first time i love that to death about this game and something that you know is so irritating about other games is how much they want to control your confusion zonai parts yeah 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 um this, other games are so terrified of players ever being confused, of players ever finding a thing they don't know what to do with. Most designers are terrified of that for some reason, you know? Um, this game is very, very welcoming to confusion, and I think that's a real strength of it. Oh, this shit's really cool. Uh, this person was just on it. This is just a really little side quest. The reward, honestly, is not that great. Um, she wants to see completed um, fossils. She's like, hey, there used to be giant creatures under on the surface. And I know there's some giant fossils. This clip I just made, this is honestly, I just fucking admire this physics. I just admire how much this shit fucking works. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't have to, like, rig this too much. They can just put this big object in a group of stones and they know that their physics engine will handle it. You do this in Ocarina of Time, it'll go and then you'll just watch a little cutscene of the bones falling down, you know? This is like, let me just, let me just, oh, oh. I just, I love this, man. I just love that. I love that so much. Really, really cool. This is another one. Oh, this is actually, this is just right after that. I had to glue the baby skeleton together. <laughs> Not the, the other ones. The other ones actually like slot into place. This one, you have to like glue it together. It's so darling. I can hardly stand it. All right. Yep. That's the baby. 
As you can see, I'm now wearing the headdress to deal with heat a little better. I had to come all the way out to the desert to uh, find the skeleton. But I was like, yeah, I've got to do this quest. And then unfortunately, she just gives you 50 rupees. It was not actually worth it, but it was honestly, you know, it was just fun to go and do this shit. You saw someone turn this skeleton into a boat. That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, this shit was cool too. I bet a lot of people did this early. Um, all right, so here's what I was dealing with. I did deal with a Gibdo on my way out through the desert. It wasn't too bad. It didn't, none of them grabbed me. I'm assuming they're like uh, re-deads and they'll like grab onto you. So obviously I'm very scared of the Gibdos. Um, all right, so there was one quest that was like, hey, my mom's sick. All right. And there's only one way to make her better. You got to get rid of, you gotta, I, need a, I need an ingredient that gets rid of gloom. And I'm like, I have that. And she's like, well, it's got to be in porridge. I also need some milk, um, some rice, and God, so she's like she's like grass, like wild grass, right? And so I spend obviously hours, not explicitly, but I'm looking out for wild grass all the time, and I'm she's like you know some people sell those ingredients, um, and I'm like. Okay, so I'm just looking out in the field, right? I'm wandering around the field looking for people who will sell me wild grass. Um, and so I find this shit going on. This is cool as hell. This is a bunch of villagers attacking um, an enemy base. I can't believe this game actually does this shit. This is awesome. Greens. She says greens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wild greens. Which is not an item. Hyrule herbs would have done what I ended up using wheat. I was like, man, I like, this is just me giving up eventually. I'm like, can, would wheat work? Can I make porridge out of wheat? And it did work. Um, so yeah, they were not being explicit when they were listing those ingredients. And the gloom item. You, oh, you're saying the gloom item without even wheat would have worked. That's crazy. God, I just love this. Look at this shit. This feels so fun. Just fighting the side of these guys using pot handles for shields. Pot lids, excuse me. So cool. Let me just stop and absorb this for a second. Yeah. Really, really fun. And then there's more of these. They're like, hey, we're going to this other place later if you want to meet us up there. I said, hell yeah. Yeah, this is just me more looking around for some wild grass. <laughs> like, where's the where's the wild grass? I gotta make this grandma feel better. Nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> This game never gets easy, bro. It never gets easy. I'm wearing my best gear too. Look at me. I got my Ganondorf pants on. Like, I, like, damn. That guy just chops me. And he's not a part of. He is not involved with this shit. Where does it? When? Why does he even appear there? Right there is when he appears. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> he just goes. Oh. <laughs> God, that's wild. That's just wild. All right. Oh. Don't mess with the Yuga clan. Their boss is dead. We killed their boss. Last week we killed their boss, you know? They're still mad. All right. Oh, that's my last clip. Fuck. Damn, I got to make more clips. I got to make more. There's so much more stuff that it happened, you know? But that's it. That's the last one. Yeah, really good shit. Really, really good shit. Excellent shit from this game. Did I follow the little girl in Kakariko? Uh, no. I bought her, like, rose ring a few, to flower ring a few times, but no, I never followed her. I don't know what to do with her flower ring. Thoughts on the Celtics win? Not happy, but not unexpected. We'll, uh... We'll try to, uh, 
Did I go to Cherry Town yet? We'll we'll try to we'll try to root for the the Heat on Game Seven on Monday. Oh, here's where I am right now. Oh, it's because of this person was like, "Hey, can you give me something that sparks?" And I'm like, "Yeah, here's something that sparks." She's like, "Nah, something that sparks." I'm like, "Here's something that sparks." Mm, nah, something that sparks. And then I got lucky. I went to um, a challenge room where I just, they they had these weapons. I was like, "Oh, that's sparks." That thing sparks. So I brought it right over, and that was exactly what she was looking to see. Flower wreath can be used in a side quest. That's what I figured. I figured you just don't use it yet. Uh, so this is if you attach a ruby to a weapon. It gives you this kind of spark effect. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> If you're playing Skyrim, I get a. If this if this was Skyrim, I'd be dead. My reputation would be tarnished. I haven't been in that well. I think. No, let's check that out. Did I like what they do to Hot to Know? Mm. I think uh, Kakariko is way cooler than Hot to Know. I, uh, they haven't voted yet, though. So I'm into that. Oh, check this shit out. I will, I will never use this weapon. Look at this shit. Haven't, haven't sliced it once. No way I'm using that. You'll be able to buy it again later? Okay. Yeah, I, I, get, I get a little too precious with some of my shit. As you can see, I'm resource light right now. Low on bombs. Low on arrows. Hello? Shit. There's gonna be a big boy in here. Get the fuck away from me. How do you have so many battery packs? It's because I spent so much time in, in the underground. The first, like, 40, 50 hours of my playthrough were all, uh... Underground. This is, this is what my underground map looks like right now. Still got a lot to do, obviously. But, uh, I, I spent a lot of time down there. Shit. Nope. No hoop. No hoop. No hoop. No hoop. Kyle trained in the underground, exactly. Fuck. Anybody got a boulder? Shit. And that's another little baby. Shit. Shit. Anybody got a boulder? Almost a new clip for you. Almost, almost a new clip for you. <laughs> Thank you, fairy. You can pick them up and toss them. That's funny. I get so intimidated by them. Um, the spiky works well. Okay. This black rock is uh much sturdier. This black rock is hiding the good shit, no question. What are you hiding? What are you hiding, black rock? I heard a creature. I heard a creature.
Hello? Hell yeah. And I have found the person who wants the bubble gems. Oh shit. Do we go deeper? And I did... In watching the cutscenes, I did indeed uh, finally switch to Japanese voice acting. I think this looks stupid, though. This was not worth the effort. Yeah, we got some good gear. I've been selling this shit. They'll give you 700 rupees for selling, you know, these, like, fanboy loser clothes, you know? The hat does look cool, yeah. So, yeah, every every time I get, like, I got, like, a Ocarina of Time hat, I sold it for 600 rupees. Nostalgia sells, yeah. I'll take it, man. Absolutely worth selling. You know, I'm much more, I'm way into, like, the new shit. Like, this, this, this set's kind of cool looking. Put him over there. I kind of like that. Um, I gotta find the pants for the Yiga set, but I think the Yiga set's pretty sweet, too. Obviously, I'm into these weird new masks. There's probably gonna be three more of those to find somewhere. The rubber shit still around, you know? So, so a lot of old shit's still around, but yeah. We're getting there. Do you think we should go deeper, or do you think that connects? It connects. Good, 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 good. I would have gone deeper. If I get the pointy hat, I'm going to sell it for 600 rupees. I did find the nasty old hairband. Yep. Might as well take that and make him another uh, hammer. Cool. All right. Well, that was a good well. Nice well. Normally, I mean, chat, you'll tell me. Normally, wells do not have those uh, frogs inside of them. Ooh, Link, that looked awesome, dude. This feels like a special well. You missed a chest where the sword was. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, Bubby. If we go up there, I bet something cool is going to happen. All right, all right. Let's go back and get that chest. This well led to a cave, but usually just caves have them. That's what I thought. And that's probably the same room as the frog room. Ooh, it isn't. No, we're going to have to break those rocks, too. Damn. All right. Yeah, what's going on in here? All caves have a bubble frog, but not all wells have a bubble frog. So that's what, that's what I was shocked by. Chat, good looking out. You're right. That was such a good little magician's trick. I saw the barrel and missed the chest right before my eyes. Good shit, chat. Oh, what a nice shield, too. Uh, oh, and actually the biggest thing about finally um, clearing out the great Deku tree, fixing his tum-tum, is that I finally found Hetsu. I had been missing Hetsu this entire time. Never saw him. So by the time I finally did find Hetsu, I was able to get a lot more slots. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It's happening. Honestly, I don't think English Zelda is the worst voice actor in the crew. I don't why she, I don't know why she gets all the heat. That was fun. She just has the most lines, sure. All right, I'm going to try one thing before we uh, levitate ourselves through that sand plop. Ooh, do I have any more? 
That was another show I used to watch was Sandflops Play Along. I don't shit. Yeah, I wanna I wanna throw that rock onto a bad boy. Not on a tree branch. I think there was another sword this way that I left. Yes. Perfect. Put it on the master sword? Um, I want to put this something that's like cool as shit on the master sword. I'm I'm being way too precious with my master sword. <laughs> After that one time where it um cooled off when I needed it most. You know what? I don't know if we're, we're going to be able to blow it. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. But I don't think I don't think this will give us anything. We're never going to use all 25 fans anyway, you know? Yeah, no effect. All right. That was cool, though. Worth trying. Well, hold on now. Well, hold on now. Well, hold on now. Well, hold on now. Damiani thinks fusing items to the Master Sword is disrespectful. I get it. You can destroy the fuse items in your menu. I didn't know that because there's like a Goron who does that as a service. Um, I figured I wouldn't be able to do it. It's a sinkhole above. Sure, but like, what's the meaning of it? Whoa, we got a chat. We almost fell through the map. You're never going to be able to reproduce that, I promise you. Okay. You're saying you can fall down here from above, but you can't get back up. Okay. When the Goron does it, you can keep the fused item. If you do it yourself, the item is destroyed. Got it. So I could have done that to one of my weaker hammers to make a stronger hammer. Got it. Copy that. Yeah, look at this. None of this is safe to go up. Ah. Well, this is good for another reason, actually. There's uh, somebody who loves looking at spirals. Oh, it's cold out tonight. Fuck, I chat. This is it, though, right? We're not doing any more of the game. Um... I fucking love playing this game. Yeah, here we go. Check this out. Quicksand sinkhole. Beep, beep. Great. Saved album. Now, who wanted to see that? Who was looking after uh, those sinkholes? I remember. It's a weird little Korok. Shit, I need my map. I think you could still go there without that. Okay, 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 okay. That's it. All right. Yeah, there's a Korok who loves looking at holes. And so they're like, will you take me a picture of a hole? And I'm like, Sh sure. I have not found the Hylian shield. But I don't think it's as precious. You can absolutely guilt-free fuse things to the Hylian shield. Here we go. I want to see it. I brought it. Here you go. That's not a bad gift. No, that's actually, that's a very thoughtful gift. Thank you, Kula. Oh, you're done. No more? Kula, no more? Okay. God. The throwbacks that hit me the hardest are the Wind Waker throwbacks. When you go to, like, Rito Village, damn. So this is crazy. I've, uh, I've now done all the Korok quests. I don't know why, why uh, Chio over here is still upset. There's no more Korok quests to do. 
What are you so upset about, brother? Calm down. I did I did everything's everybody's thing. Did you? I wonder. So there was one on top of the tree. There were the three shrine quests. And then there was this one who wanted photos. Yeah, I did guy on the top of the tree. That was a fun one, actually. Two different uh, scavenger hunts. Those were cool. There's one more that's kind of hidden. Okay, where do we go? Where's the Uno Moss? Tree right. Go into the shop. And ascend. Oh my god. Chad, I would have th that would have never occurred to me. Look at this shit. Right in the middle of the mouth. Oh, chat. You're good. Chat, you're good. You don't have enough what? Yeah, I realize that. Pretty things. Four blue nightshades that glow gently at night and two really vivid blight bloom seeds. Oh, brother. I've got you hooked. I've got the hookup. No, no, don't worry about it. I got, I got everything you need. What a nice favor we just did for this little sweetheart. Link was legitimately down like, yeah, I'll stay. I got nothing better to do. I'll hang out with you. <laughs> cool. Ooh, these are sweet to get too. Hell yeah. Love getting new fabrics. That's funny, and I think the only way out is uh, back up top. That was good shit, chat. Yeah, currently I'm using the uh, Sheikah paraglider. I don't know if I would ever switch off. This thing's just cool as hell. Uh, I got this paraglider for doing that quest I was telling you about, uh, where, uh, you gotta make some porridge. Where's that crying old man? Gone? There he is. I'm guessing it's because of you. Thank you. You're welcome, Chio. Give me a thing, Chio. Give me a thing. Chio. Can I request you follow Kotla and Kakariko? The last thing we do. You got it. Uh, does it have to be a certain time of night? Certain time of day, I should say. Uh, this one's Kakariko, I think. Yep. You haven't found the weird bubbles guy and you have 60 of those things to turn in. The weird bubbles, you say. Oh! Shit. You'll find that. You will find that guy. You'll find that guy. You'll find that guy. If you want chat to tell you where it is, go ahead. But I, th I feel like you will find that guy. In the day, noonish. All right. So let's, uh... Let's go to the inn. 
rare rappy costing me 20 rupees right now. I recommend trying out the Stallnox Paraglider. The preview doesn't do it justice. I don't have that one. Just sit by a fire? What? You can sit by a fire to progress time? Shit, chat. That sucks. <laughs> oh. Just take a picture of one and show the die shop guy. Cool. Um, all right, so where is the person we're looking for? We're looking for a little girl, and we have to follow her. This one? Katla, right? All right. Do your shit, Katla. Chat wants to see it. Go do your shit. We're waiting. We're waiting. <laughs> I um I still can't get into that fifth ring. I feel like I have to progress the story more. I've done like everything I can in this town and still nobody will let me go up there. So I feel like I just got to move forward in the story. Correct. Okay. Copy that. Say no more, chat. Say no more. <laughs> Kotla! Go! <laughs> Kotla! <laughs> I've spent a lot of time in this town trying to get up there, yeah. How many times have I accidentally crossed the line? One time I threw the the flowers over there. It sucked. It's really annoying because Link can talk. It's really annoying because Link has so much he could tell them about Princess Zelda. But the only reason they won't not let Link up there is because they saw Princess Zelda say, don't go up there. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Kotla's going. Holy shit. Is this village less framey in Breath of the Wild? I wonder. Should we go in? Should we go in? Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. A little stealth, baby. You got an off-screener. Okay, okay, okay. She's in. They probably did not animate her, that little girl going into this well. Man, I haven't been in, into this well. This is cool. Just in case. Let's get a good weapon ready. Hello? Holy shit. Hello? Coddle? 
You in here? What are you doing in my secret base? Well, now you found out. I promise I can tell you. But you have to promise not to tell. I found Mommy's recipe. I want to make Mommy's cooking for Daddy and Big Sis because they work so hard. So I'm growing my own vegetables. Ooh. I'm going to keep this a secret from them till I learn how to do cooking right. So no telling. In exchange, you can eat some vegetables whenever you want. Remember, you can't tell anyone. Anyone! So I can just, like, take her shit? Fortified pumpkin. An extremely tough pumpkin. Swift carrot. Do you need any help? Let me look at your recipe book over here. Read the tattered notebook, sure. My beloved husband always gives it his all when working in service of others. I admire that about him. He's been working himself to the bone ever since being granted the honor of guarding La Lady Impa. I wish for him to always be in good health and good spirits. That's why I made a tough meat stuffed pumpkin using fortified pumpkin and fresh meat. Okay, okay, we can make that. I have followed, I followed chickens during the day, but not at night. I don't know what happens to the chicken at night. My little Cotilla, my perfect girl. I love her so very much. Mm-hmm. Hot buttered apple. Oh my god. Apples and goat butter. Okay. We can make one of that too. Alright. Apples, goat butter, pumpkin, and raw meat. What else? Cocoa is my precious treasure. Energizing honeyed apples. Okay. So, watch this, Katla. I'm gonna make your shit right in front of you. You can take it if you want. If you don't want it, I'll eat it. Nothing? Kotla, nothing? You can pass time by the fire. No, I want to talk to Kotla. Ah. Nah, she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> okay. So that was chat. This was just, uh... Her mom died from Yiga Clan stuff last game, but she was too young to realize. Yeah, I remember going to a gravestone, which is all covered in um, scaffolding now. Not covered in. You can still go there in this game. So that's pretty cool. She just wants you to keep quiet. Yeah, I, I actually really dig quests like these that are, it's not even a quest. Nothing pops up on the screen. There's no XP reward. There's no... Um, Gil reward, rupee reward, you know? Yeah, that was a neat thing to come and see. What are we under, though? This is fucking weird, dude. Is this, uh... Like, the implication is, um... Whoa. Basically how Kakariko had a dungeon beneath it in Ocarina of Time? Have you done the hot to know school quest? You have a pretty significant reward. You mean the farm? Yes. And no, I don't care about having a farm. Yeah, right. It's got durability up plus on it. Let's take that. Oh, well, shit. I'm so low on inventory. Didn't even have to clear out space. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's the nod. 
Actually, yeah, that thing with a stone would be a perfect hammer for a while if it's got durability up plus two. So let's do it. Cool. Sweet. Well, the chat got to say that was a pretty good excursion. And that woman who loves wells is going to love hearing about this. You, you're right. It, it gets framey there. It gets framey there. Everything is a Kirk hammer in this game, yes. Everything is a Kirk hammer. No, we didn't finish Gabe. God, and we did an extra hour of OT just for Zelda. But yeah, it gets me off on that chat. It gets me off on that tangent. Um, So cool. That was fun. I like doing, I like doing some regular check-ins on Zelda. It's fun. No, so Gabe's about halfway done. Gollum's about halfway done. Um, Gollum's going to be Monday's stream. We're going to try to do as much as we can. Uh, Gabe will be... We'll do Gabe, but I just don't know when. It'll either be Monday or Saturday. We'll figure that out. But obviously, Street Fighter comes out next week. I'm really looking forward to that. So uh, Street Fighter 6, definitely next Friday. Um, and then no video from me on YouTube all next week. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine a whole week going by without a single YouTube video for me, Mucho? Hard for me to imagine. Do I not use Keith's eyeballs? No, because I hit my shots. You must be remarking on how I have 40 of these. I've not gotten a Gliok yet. I still don't feel confident. You know what I mean? I got this, I got this many hearts. Oh, shit. Sorry. I got that many hearts, but I never, I never have an abundance of arrows. I feel like I, I feel like I have to have a hundred arrows to fight a Gliok. You're gonna need the eyeballs for armor upgrades. Ooh, really? I didn't know what the, I didn't know that. I didn't know that's what you need monster shit for in this game. That's good to know. SGDQ starts tomorrow. Hell yeah! What a week. We need a link house tour. The house that I went to was a shared house and it didn't seem like i could post anything up there this time it didn't, it didn't i'll just say it didn't feel as much like it was my house you get another house oh cool all right one like he gets a bachelor pad <laughs> cool I bet, I bet GDQ is both. I bet, I bet it's both as usual. I bet they'll definitely have a live event, but I bet they'll cut over to some other people. Yeah, hybrid event again. Yeah, I, I like that. Obviously, like, you love the live stuff. It's way more fun when there's people cheering, but I also love that they're able to include more people um, from different places when, they're, when they do remote. So I, I think mixing it up is a really good way to handle that. Cool. Chat, thank you so much. Um, super fun stream for me today and yesterday. Kind of riding high right now, chat. Good shit. Really, really good shit. Uh, looking forward to next week's stuff. And uh, thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Appreciate the lurkers. Appreciate chat. Appreciate the mods. Having a great time. And uh, hope to see you around. Is Andy Cortez still streaming? Shit, that was, that was an hour ago that we were talking about that. Okay, we're going to rate it Andy Cortez. Cool. Great. Chat, thank you so much. That's set up. Hope to see you around. Have a great weekend. Bye. <laughs> it's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. Tie your shoe. It's a robot party.